I don't know. I think I can beat you if the matchup's correct, but then at the same time, I could also lose. We know what the matchup is going to be. Do you mean if the the, the scenario is correct? I think I could beat you, but at the end of the day, I also might not. (laughs) Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Golems Gamers podcast, where we're back with another one of our preview episodes uh, for an upcoming GBHR 100 event that's happening in Preston this weekend, which is gathering at the Grey Havens at 701 points. Uh, now, before we get into the preview, though, as always, you can find us on Instagram and Spotify by following the links in the description down below. <laughs> also, just wanted to mention here uh, at the start of the episode that we will be giving our views on the Dragon Emperor nerf uh, that was in the most recent FAQ, as we didn't do an actual separate video uh, covering the FAQ or anything like that so we'll talk about that in this episode now but moving on uh we are joined tonight by our second new addition to the team in this 2024 season which is ali king who some of our viewers may have seen before um, (laughs) as he has been on a couple of our other podcasts uh in the past but um i wanted to share with our audience ali's quite unique way he had of um announcing to everyone that he'll be joining us this year but there's been much speculation about what team I'm going to join next. <laughs> I think the best way is to announce to everyone who I'm joining next year. And some of you may have heard the rumours, and I can now actually confirm that it's true, if I can get my shirt off. <laughs> and I'm joining... Yeah! So, Ali, what was the thinking there behind making your announcement in such a public way? Oh, I'm just like a whore for the limelight, really. <laughs> it's just, I, I made a big thing about it by not telling anyone for a long time. And so, like... You did play it up. How long was it in total that that sort of whole fiasco went on? Probably about three months. It was, it was way too long. a long time. Hey, there Ali, were bribes, you... there were messages, there were, like, love letters, all sorts. How much, how much, how much stuff did Michael send you? Oh, no, all of that was from Michael. Um, (laughs) (laughs) How early did you decide that you're actually going to join the Mighty Golems Gamers? Oh, probably about September. Uh, Here we go. go. There was only one real choice. I I did say at some point when I was just like, hey, again, I have made up my mind. I'm just not telling anyone until the finale. Although Mm. that was, I genuinely like, that was before half the teams had even asked me. So it's just like <laughs> when uh, a few of the teams got on the line, I was like, uh, nah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll string you along. But <laughs> what was the what was the turning point? Was it after yeah, Ash team, winning 100s <laughs> when we went for that nervous dinner date? And it was like, uh, I think it was actually us five. Yeah, actually, do you want to know the the moment when yeah. I was like, maybe. Maybe this could be Maybe the match. Maybe the guys for me. Yeah. Well, you know when we play bowling? <laughs> <laughs> bowling the the only up. bowling SPG team. Yeah, yeah. and, and, uh, like the, and when uh, we beat Clubley's team, like, as in like the bowling team, I know we were split. Because yeah. like, it was some of the most fun I had, actually, at a, um event in a long time. And it didn't involve alcohol, which was like... <laughs> That's pretty nervous. Uh, that, uh, that makes it seem like I've got an issue with alcohol. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you love a drink at an event, as do I. Um, so now that you're officially part of the, the squad, you know, did you want to give our listeners a uh, you know brief uh, background about yourself in SPG as a, you know, because you play and you're a TO and well, that sort of thing? Um, so most people probably know me from getting abuse from Clubly on previous podcasts uh, or from the Any Heroics podcast. Farmer constantly mentioning me as an example of something. <laughs> Hashtag rent free. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag on <homeschooling. laughs> uh, But no, uh, I've been in the league for about half Goebel's lifetime, um, <laughs> which actually is true. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's right. That's not so uh, competing, running events. Uh, so I run City of Kings for about six, seven years, running City of Steel as well this year. It's an event in Sheffield, an event in Winchester. I was in charge of the league for about five years uh, and as GBHL league coordinator and I kind of end up appearing on loads of podcasts. I wrote loads of blogs as well and you did. generally that kind of stuff. 
Oh, I also won the league. That was probably the reason you guys <laughs> wanted me. But... Yeah, <laughs> the main reason. <laughs> oh, so it was my personality. <laughs> Second at the GBHL Masters as well last year. Another recruitment reason why me and Grant chose you. Was it after I beat you at the Masters, you decided I could play this game, Ash? I decided you could be you could be allowed into the team. When I decided you were terrible for the first third of a game, as you sort of like ADHD takes control, and then when you realise you've made stupid boo boos, you start playing well. <laughs> that, that, two thirds of the way through. Really, because yeah, we want to start a new blog. Scary. We want to start a you know revenue stream uh, as a you know blogging. Uh, <laughs> you recruit me for my you know, blogging skills. We need we need someone to write the content. You know, I'm too busy with the production. incoming the Golems gamers Patreon hashtag yeah. help Elliot. Escape yeah. his debt, Ali, Ali can, uh, you know, co exec. Yeah, please. As if, uh, as if you guys would let me keep all the money. Come on, that's such I, as work. if you <laughs> think we would make much money. <laughs> like, it's like you can have the fiver, <laughs> you can have it, mate. That's fine. Um, so, uh, before we get on to previewing the event in Preston, we do have a small special segment here at the start of this episode to set us up for episode one of a brand new series that's going to be coming to the channel, which is called Lord of the Spins. Credit to James <laughs> Gopal. Let's go, James Gopal, uh, for the idea, uh, you know, putting some new light into the channel. Which was the name idea? <laughs> Uh, that oh, was Elliot. chat GPT. <laughs> uh, yes. So uh, I hope you guys oh, can see this. So six spinner. Lord of the Spins. How does it work? Uh, so I've made two spinning wheels. As you can see, we've got one here, uh, which has every single hero um, in the game on, apart from Smaug. And we have another one here that has every points level, starting from 450, going up to 1,000. So every 50 points up from 450. Um, so we are each going to spin the wheel. And then basically, you get a combination of a hero and a points level. And then we have to write a list with that combination uh, to the best of our ability to perform at a six game GBHR 100 event. Um, so it's kind of a way to think of new and interesting, funny list ideas. Um, so we're going to spin it now in preparation for episode one to see which lists we're going to be writing. So first up on the list, we have Ash, Mr. Walsher. Let's see what you're going to get, my guy. Let's spin that bitch. Oh, the wheel is spinning. This is oh, nervous. That's, that's I can't so <laughs> Please be the Witch King. Oh, it's finishing upside <laughs> down as well. Fucked. It's Arlen. Yeah. Arlen from Erebori Claims. Okay. Yeah, that's champion of Erebori. Ash, have you ever seen that model in your life? So we will <laughs> remove. But what points is it going to be at, though? Oh, is this for everyone? Or is it? Uh, we are doing... Uh, so, so this is for Ash. So now this is his points level. And then we'll spin it again for everyone else. What's that? 900. So 900. 900 points. Bob. Is it the points? entire okay. champions of Erebor? I'm liking that. I won't I'm liking that. that. Ash is just taking the whole, the whole gang of them. That's so boring. Minus one. <laughs> Who, who's going to be the sad one on his own? So, uh, <laughs> next up, we have Vince. What is Vince going to be oh. writing? I hope Vince gets like... this. That looks like a Galadrian captain. No, is that golf um, ball? Oh, that was almost golf ball. Madrill. <laughs> Madrill. Okay, that's pretty easy to sort of drop in here and there. I guess at high points it could be a bit easier because you just like you know plug and play, but I hope it's like four fifty. Oh, never mind. Is that nine fifty? Six fifty. Okay, that's good. That's probably better. <laughs> uh, so Vince with Madro at six fifty. Okay. Quite I good. feel like I'm on like the Price is Right or something like yeah, that. This is, <laughs> yeah. this is Ben. Ben Haslam. You know uh, everyone's going to be triggered then? by. Oh. Uh, Frain. Oh, then with Frain, it's just like... Oh. Yeah, he's just going to write... A... If he gets 600 points as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is the list he's taking. <laughs> I mean, it's like low points. Oh, no, it's going to be 950. Oh, oh the spin. <laughs> I'd love Frain at 950. Okay, so I know it's 650. 650. 650. Okay. 650. That's so, gonna... We can nicely compare. That was Ben. Now we have Adam. Adam Traore. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Like... Sirens, Nino, Nino. I'm dying. Oh no! It's going to that same bit every time. Both, oh, but Bofa. that's the um, both of these. Company. Company. Torrance Bofa. Company. Torrance Company. Yeah. Um, it's not okay. even Biffa. <laughs> both. <laughs> so <It> late town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it a first thousand point list? No, eight hundred. Okay. Well, looks it. Both of Torrance Company. So okay. Torrance Company eight, minus Gandalf or something. Torrance Company. There, a few ones. 
Okay, now we have Sam Gratton. Oh, here we go. Please be somebody. Oh, give, me, give me someone awful. Give me Please someone awful. Rowan Thistlewood. Farmer Maggot. And oh, it was so close. And... Oh. Oh. Is that the oh, Ranger guy? Me and I write Ranger Mathilia. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could just do a minor stir list with him as the minor hero. Mine's yeah. 50 Ranger of Athelia. No, I'm God, how many bows would you get in that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> Yeah. 950 beefdoms for Sam. Okay. And ball 950. I can't wait. Uh, who's this? This is Jay. Jay oh. now, if he doesn't get round to writing his list, then we write it for him because he's he's a very busy man. <laughs> but what does he get? He gets the door. Oh, that him. one's quite interesting. <laughs> oh, James, I could just give him my list uh, that I've took to. <laughs> what points level will he get it at? If it's low, he's screwed. Like <laughs> oh, he's screwed. Jay's used Angmar quite a lot, though. You should take him in Mordor as well, remember? He should cook. Right, yeah. now we have Ali King. Oh, yes, of course you can. Newest member to the Golden Gamers. Making his debut on the channel. How luck is he feeling? Yep. He's debut get... as a member on the channel. Sure. You're a last. You're a last. Oh, okay, last. that's decent. That's decent. Yeah. Out of the 308 heroes, we managed to hit three minutes terror. <laughs> At 700. Shall I just write this as my master's list? That and I <laughs> commit to totally it. Totally do it. And then, and then we can revisit how be... well it did at six games. That would be typical. Uh, yeah, right, now we models. have fine. This is where I get some mega models. cursed. Mr. Elliot. Stormcaller. Gambling. Bane. Bane. <laughs> Someone's taking Bard. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, I was, I was, I was looking at this. So you don't have to take Bard to take Bane, but you, you know, I didn't put uh, Sigrid and Tilda in here because you have to take Bard to take. Them. I thought you said you had every hero there, Elliot. But uh, you the can't lies them on their own. So you know, Bane. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's pretty dog shit. He uh, manually inputted three hundred eight heroes. Yeah, I know. Like, like, I them in. Do you still have a one. job, Elliot? So, I start a new job next week, actually. Yeah. Uh, at please don't be. Oh, oh it jumped. Okay. Brain I can't okay. wait to uh, and then, that list. <laughs> and then finally, James Goble. Let's oh, James, have you got like? Oh, oh, have you got like Frain the Broken and that on here? And like, Frain is in there. Frain's in there. Bert Bert the troll. The troll. <laughs> troll. Yes. <laughs> Let's I mean, if it's, it, if it's 450, exactly yeah, then, like... no, if it's 400, all the trolls are 400. So if he gets 400, no, they're not. Bad. They're not 400. Yeah, they are. No, no, as in, oh, sorry, for all three. Sorry, I thought you meant, yeah. yeah, yeah love that one. Try and make it 650 with Bert the Troll. Bert the Troll. <laughs> Okay, that's going to do it. That was good. So um, those are the nine um, hero and points combinations that we'll be doing for episode one of uh, Lord uh, of the Spins. I can't wait for the people who aren't actually watching and they're just listening just to hear us going, oh, oh, oh. Yes, if you're <laughs> like, watching yeah, the yeah. Maybe go and check Elliot, YouTube. Have you written them down? Because like, I've uh, written them down. Well, the good thing is we recording this it. podcast, Ashley, so I'll be able to go back and... <laughs> What I did. <laughs> no, but I've written. Them Where do you down, think all the views you... come from? It's just Elliot me watching it like over and over. <laughs> of uh, well, no, I, mean, like, I did. Put... I didn't write them down, but I will. I will go back later and write them down. Actually, well, I can. I can read them out to the viewers now. Oh, sorry, do you want to do that? Yeah. Be my guest. Go for it, mate. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have Ash with Barlin uh, from the Champions Variable at nine hundred points. Vince with Madril at six fifty. Ben with Thrain at 650. We have Adama with Boffer, Thorin's company, at 800 points. Sam has Angborn at 950. Uh, Jay has the Dwimmerlake at 450. <laughs> We've got Ali with Iralas at 700 points. Elliot with Bane at 450. <laughs> and finally, the master, the connoisseur of this idea, James Goble with Bert the Troll at 650 <laughs> points. That is... Comment below who you think is going to write the most lemon list. The competitive list for a GBHL 100 <laughs> and find out when you tune in to Lord of the Spins, episode one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I'd, I'd, have like, um, <laughs> cool. I'd have like a table in there as well, Elliot, just to show. 
Yes. Um, cool. Okay. So uh, that's all the shit out of the way. So let's get on with the <laughs> topic of this episode. Um, we are going to start by taking a look at the faction breakdown for uh, Preston gathering at the Grey Havens. Uh, so for the audio listener, in the top spot, unsurprisingly, nine appearances, we have Mordor. Um, with seven appearances following up, we have Serpent Horde. Who would have thought we'd have seen those two at the very How many of them do we think are allied, and how many do we think of actually... The GHR 100 uh, event. Following on from there, six appearances, we have Halls of Thrandrill, James, which I thought was a little bit unexpected to see, six appearances. Uh, Then after that, with five appearances, we have um, Minas Tirith and Rivendell. Uh, With four, we have things like uh, Dark Denizens of Mirkwood, Erebor Reclaimed, Dragon Emperor, Isengard, and Pits of Dol Guldur, and also Rohan, and then a number of other factions. Um, so, 701 points. Any takeaways from this? That sounds like people still like Mordor Solidar. <laughs> mm. So, are we going to talk about uh, the FAQs now? Have you got an FAQ slide? Uh, so, the first list we will be looking at is a Dragon Emperor list. So, oh, so what, about, what about the other FAQs, though? Um... What the ones which will not impact this probably whatsoever. Fair enough. I would say um, the goat himself, James Goble, has spurred uh, Halls of Thrandral up to six. An upright. Uh, Show show to you what I think it is. I, I, I don't. I'll be surprised if a lot of them are actually whole war bands of Horse of Thrandral. They're not. And... All, they're not all Horse of Thrandral. Yeah. 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 But... I I imagine about half them are a Legolas drop with maybe one or two elves. Yes. Um, there's yes. quite a lot of like um, allying with uh, Lake Town and things, mm. dwarves. So I'm not sure there was actually any just leggy drops, but there was a fair few allies with like dwarves or Lake Town and stuff. Yeah, how many Elba reclaims are there? Uh, there was, I think that was fairly high as well. Uh, four as well. And then yeah. survivors, uh, two survivors lists. So I think both of those are allied with. Yeah, so that would make sense to me. I would like. To also point out though that if you pair Hazard Doom and Kingdom of Moria together, they're basically you know you could you could do that. They'd also be up at six appearances. Still, that, that, yeah, that was actually ridiculous. How that many was one there. thing I really did notice this yeah. event. There were yeah three. Bearing in mind, I was also very close to taking them myself. Yeah, and um, three Hazard Dooms. Sam, South, what have you done? Wrong. <laughs> yes, you know it's, it's Dave Reed. Dave Reed, brought in. Waves. Dave Reed has influenced me to buy the list and potentially start taking it. We'll see if this episode. Yeah. I think everyone just saw on Longshanks it has a terrible record, so they're like, oh, I could get like the top fourth player for Kazadim <laughs> on Longshanks. Um, no, and then I it's. I was looking on the Longshanks because obviously you can't put uh, Kingdom of Moria on Longshanks as like your faction. Mm. So, yeah. Because that was just. Oh. No, just because there was just four Kazadims. I was thinking, where have you got the Kingdom of Moria's from? But obviously, you got to send the list, so it totally makes sense. Of course, um, insider info here at the Golden's Game. Yeah, no, the I know. I generally don't know the last time I saw that many. Yeah, yeah. I suppose it is an eighty-man event, basically, or close it's enough. enough. But yeah. Even, yeah. even yeah. other, you know, we've done previews on really, really big events, and yeah. uh, because of them, because of them historically was quite a popular faction because it's a bit different and cool. It's just not always been popular with top players. Yeah, mm. like. So I'll be interested to see how many of them are, let's say, casual sort of tournament players and how many are actually taking a list they think may be able to like, mm. perform. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, only one Rise of Theoden. That's surprising, because there's six Rohan as well, isn't there? Or yeah, four Rohan. Uh, four just standard. Four Rohan, Rohan. yeah. Um, um, unless I've done a doo-doo. No, I remember sitting I on. I think the long shanks stats it gives <laughs> you that. There's only one riders of fear. It says six riders of fear on the long shanks, and then yeah, the long shanks definitely says there's more. But oh, it says there's more. No, no, maybe, 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 maybe that's Rohan is meant to be riders of fear, and then I, I don't know. Happy. Thinking back, I think there was a lot of riders of fear. I thought there was lots of very. Like, there's also someone could probably well. look at it rather than us. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. Um, actually, there was quite a lot of ones with like um, Minas Tirith and fiefdoms. There was quite. A lot of allies with regular Rohan from memory. Um, Jakob has uh, popularized Khan, obviously. Another one one appearance. Uh, 
That's one carnist that every. And we know it's not him because Jakob's not going, is he? Yeah. Now, um, yeah. one thing which uh, you guys may have glossed over is um, there is a desolator of the north. Oh, I did see that. A little bit further down. <laughs> Round Ch- Ch- one. Ch- Ch- Charles was like was advertising for someone to take Smaug at some point because he was there. Going, so last year I'm doing over 100, uh, over 700 points. So if you want to take Smaug, take him now. Um, yeah, which is that's quite shame. amusing. Um, yeah, round one, folks. Yeah, on, on Longshanks, by the way, guys, Riders of Fear Dune only has one down. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not and it's got six Vohan armies total. So yeah. either people have mislabeled it. Yeah, there is a couple. Happen. Charles said, you know, there's a couple lists that have come in and gone out, but this is like. But, um, this is, this is yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Um, and then four, four Dark Denizens surprises me as well, because obviously yeah. that's a Spider Queen drop, unless there someone was, is taking pure. But there was a couple uh, Goblin Town ones, and then a couple oh, okay. ones. Yeah, fair enough. Do you know what else? Um, um, there's only one Lothorian. This... I feel like that's quite low. I was quite surprised with by all that. The shooting with like Isengard and stuff. Mm, yeah, Lothorian has sort of been allied quite a lot recently with. Like dwarves and stuff. Uh, that Oops. is actually up to two appearances though, because Luke killed her. I've just found out in the last few minutes. Breaking news is going to be taking uh, partially Lothlorien. <laughs> He'll be borrowing my Lothlorien, ladies and gentlemen. So shout out to me for <laughs> Go on, Tim. Luke killed and borrowed my <laughs> there's, there's quite a healthy amount of um dragon emperors as well still yes and yeah, two easterlings is. or three easterlings there was yeah and a fair few there was like i think two emperors outside of the legion and then an emperor uh oh actually yes the card list <laughs> is with the dragon emperor yeah, <laughs> no, no, yeah. Or, it's, or it's pure easterlings um as in without the dragon emperor i can't i can't remember which but yeah. Yeah. i'd say generally looking at this it's much of what you would expect at a 700 yeah. point event it's just maybe the ratios are slightly different between the more popular lists. Like yeah. I just guess what I'm a little bit like upset about is just that like this is roughly the same sort of thing we've been looking at since we kind of started doing our pod back in May last year. And until they add something sort of new into the games, change things and everything like this, it isn't going to change. And this is what we kind of keep looking at. Well, so. I think part of the I thing would... is like you've got, because people know, which King Sully is a thing, which is only really like starting to emerge probably when you started the pod last year. Like yeah, yeah. before then, like it was only like Farmer or Ash or like one or two of the players. Whereas since September, it's kind of like become a meme of its own. So yeah. people who are wanting to be good will know that's a good list to take. Yeah. So they started taking it. Like before that, there were, um, it was before the, um, sort of big FAQ where they nerfed um, Army of Lake Town, AOL and Bears and things. So mm. there was maybe more things in the pot, but it didn't I mean, really it, like, it's yeah. arguably the last standing from like the class of 2023 kind of power list. Uh, yeah, um, potentially. Yeah. We're waiting I mean, to see what happens with Easterlings and uh, what Dragon yeah. Emperor sort of impact. There's still, I think on the flip side of that, Elliot, there's still, unless I've just counted this wrong, 43 different factions going to this event, which still is quite, yeah. Great, considering yeah. you know that's it's, the, the yeah, diversity of different guess it's just a, of people. You're bring. seeing you're seeing all the all the same sort of spikes, I guess, is the the sort of thing on the yes. It, yeah, it's you the first seven hundred point uh, event we've had for a while though, and there are a bunch of them coming up yeah. soon. So it'd be interesting to see if this repeats that. All yeah, and what happens? Yeah, well, we'll be doing previews for them. So yeah. Um, any other takeaways from the faction breakdown before we move on? Isengard's uh, gotten a bit more popular. It's probably taken over from Assault on Helm's Deep, partly down yeah. to Jay, I think, sort of demonstrating. Uh, you don't need all of the blisters yeah. and the yeah. rolls. You can do it. Just think that's Absolutely zero. I think might well. is good. Yeah, you know. Absolutely yeah. zero Assault on Helm's Deep, which is a big change from what we were Good news for Ashley. <laughs> good news for me. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. I like it. Cool. Okay, let's move on then to the leader breakdown. So <clears throat> for the audio listener, now this is maybe a little bit more. Out. I mean, we're used to having maybe 10, 11, 12 Witch Kings, uh, you know, leading the um, uh, total amount of leaders. But um, in tied first place, we have uh, the Dragon Emperor, Thranduil and the Witch King. 
Uh, then with four appearances, we have Azog. And with three, we have um, the heroes like Barlin, Dane, Elrond, um, King of Men, which is quite surprising, Lurtz, Mahud King, and Theoden. So any takeaways from this one? I have three people taking the Son of El style list that I've run before. Because <laughs> yeah. that's the only yeah, reason I'm I can think surprised. of having a King yeah. of Men as your like, leader. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this kings. is... Um... The it's last... just bizarre, to be honest. <laughs> like... It is bizarre. Do we think um, people... They're the alliances uh, with the Rohan that I was talking about. But why is there five? Like, <laughs> then it's like, considering like how many of them were there total? Was it six? Oh, six. Rohan, yeah. And so, five three. of them have been... Not five. Like... There's only three. Fran... No, Frangel. Oh, yeah, there was so, six. Yeah, Ali, you um, literally said, oh, it's going to be Legolas drops. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. I generally <laughs> thought they were going to be. Turns out it's not. Turns out it's a Frangel drop. I was going to take Rules of Thranduil because it fits really nicely at 700. But... Yeah. Yeah. Is that, I didn't think other generally... people would yeah. I thought saying, no, they're not all... Thandor, it perfectly fits. <clears throat> they're not all pure, pure Halls of Thandor, though. So, like, they might ally with Lake Town, but Thranduil yeah. still be there. It's in... or, yeah, interesting sure. going... you're allying, you don't use Thranduil. Is that a potential meta read if it fits nicely at 700? I'm trying to think if it is. Yeah, Halls of Thandor. What do you like, think, you... Come on. It is. Get... That's why I was tempted to take it. Yeah, because you get. <laughs> if you put Legolas in, you can snipe Witch King. You've got. Terror to fight terror. Um, your higher fight value. The high defense models, which are everywhere. Yeah, you get yeah. the plus one to wound, which is quite key. And like Sully and we- maybe I don't know what the model count ends up being. Against your list, yeah, Ali, like uh, the plus one to wound would be fantastic. Well, I just got more enough models, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh- <laughs> I think it's um, it's quite you know poor form from us, but it ha- this uh, event has is it set pools? Yeah, in a certain order. So, I mean, that makes a slight difference, doesn't it? Because Paul of Thranduil doesn't like to play lists yeah. where it can potentially get outshot by crossbows or ballistas and yeah. stuff. Elliot, have you got ones... the, the pool order actually handy? Or yeah, so I'll waffle while you get the pool order up. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> James has played myself, the Witch King Sully versus Paul of Thranduil multiple times, and it's really, really good into Witch King Sully because it is. I think as I just mentioned, it's got the plus one to wound, it's got the higher fight value and the high courage. Higher cu- they're high courage so they charge the terror. Um they're winning a lot of the fights. Legolas can take out the horses of the mouth, Sullivan, uh and the Witch King. And then you've also got Thranduil to if you know if he needs to go in, call uh Wrath of Bruin and just like knock down all the guys in the front, then you murder them. The only thing it doesn't like playing is like a J-style crossbow list because... Honestly, that's not that bad. It's only if they've got like some sort of blinding like allied into a heavy shooting list because otherwise you're still going to outshoot it because you're probably getting like 11 elf bows plus Legolas. So what, what's your model count you should go by if you're going uh, pure? If 700 points, it'll be 35 because you'd have like, so Randall, Legolas, Max Warbands. So it's James, not it's low, but it's not high. Turn your mic up. No. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, the thing so, is, I think the I think the Lords of Battle one is game five because it's manoeuvring. Then it's oh, I've posted them in our group chat. But so game one's manoeuvring. Game two is random unique. Game three is maelstrom of battle. Game four is random object. Game five is kill the enemy, and game six is hold objective. Yeah, so um, you could get a kill the enemy against you know one of the Isengard lists that have crossbows, or and that's you know. I mean, it's. I think it's more probably people who are taking it are one either just taking it because they like it and it works nicely, yeah. or or two because it, they're also there going, oh, I'm expecting lots of Witch King Sullies. Um, yeah, I think for me, I think the King of Men, the Mahud King, are rogue. I think like the King of Men less so because you can take the Son of El list, but like Mahud King is your yeah, leader. Mahud King deals with the terror though that's everywhere. It does, but it's not really your leader. Really. Yeah, like if I was to do farm. Farharad, I would still ally in Siladan just for yeah. yeah there was a couple of pure Farharad lists where yeah. it was just spam. There's a couple of old Danes, that's quite interesting. Yes, um, um, yeah, glad I didn't take that army as well. Now, um, Elrond for... as well, three Elrons. So, my question is so if there's five Witch Kings, what are the other four Mordor doing? <laughs> um, I imagine it's Mordor, Farharad, I and then... they've just put like Siladan as the leader. One so of them is a couple. Oh, so, ally, so you could ally it with, dra- yeah. So Dragon Emperor, you could say one of them is that. Um, 
the Farhad, I guess. I don't know how many there were previously. But uh, I mean, is in because it had to be a hero of legend. Oh, uh, no one. Sorry, ignore me. It was um, one that was like a uh, Gothmog leader with like Shagrat and yeah. So like. To no. be fair, whoever's taking Gothmog. Tappable. I, I, I love I love a bit of Gothmog. I was nervous. Um, yeah. Couple Balrogs in there. Yeah, three beards. Let's go. Oh, someone's taken a Rutabi. Yes. Uh, now um, on on that list, it didn't say it was with Amda and Brogir. It didn't say who was the leader, but I assumed you would want to. Rutabi. Be no. I mean, it is the sensible one. I'm really interested. Actually, that would be a list I really want to see how it works because yeah, before the Legion came out, I kind of always wanted to run a Rutabi. I have um, Amda. Yeah, Amda I list. Sort of, yeah. I mean, my my hot take on Amda is if he had Weapons Master, so he could go two handed without minus one. His profile is almost fixed. He has got um, a really good. Yeah. It's the fact that he his he can't kill reliably. And yeah, he's like your Pindle and sort of like can just get you know bogged down and not move mm, but he's only d6 yeah. so he also yeah. dies quite easily yes. <laughs> talking yeah. of uh the recent faq if that's going to be the next slide do we think <laughs> people really have... wants to talk about this so it won't <laughs> be the next slide <laughs> so we, just we move on because we we yeah, yeah, so, no minutes. but i mean just just touching on the fact that there's five dragon emperors do we think people have seen the faq and gone screw those guys i'm going to take the dragon emperor anyway going to prove everyone that it seems like that's what yeah, this is showing. I mean, there's been a couple of allies. Points, it doesn't matter. I can still yeah. use my Emperor. I, I think it's still good. It's just, it, it used to be an elite army which had more models than every other elite army, whereas now it's an elite army which has more or less the same model count as, well, we, yeah, some, which is what it should have been. Talking about yeah. that, are we, are we done with the leader breakdown? Any, any yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so <laughs> let's move on to talking about the famous Jamie Wiggins, who... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've never heard of him. JTL Facebook page. You may have seen, you know, many a meme floating around the other day about this man, and you thought, who the hell is Jamie Wiggins? Who is this bloke? Well, um, this man likes a Dragon Emperor list, so we thought we would run through his one uh, that he is taking this weekend. Now, this is actually three points short. I actually did him a solid and told him, look, mate, he points is three points under, um, which he totally didn't know. So this is only uh, 698 points, but uh, he has taken the Dragon Emperor, of course, leading seven Black Dragons with Shield, 10 with Pike and Shield, and one Cataract with a Drum. He's got a Dragon Knight on foot leading uh, two Black Dragons with Shield, two with Pike and Shield, and then two uh, Black Dragon Cataracts with um, Axes. And then he has Brogy leading three Easterlings with Shield, two with Pike and Shield, three with Bow, and four Acolytes with Axes. So it's 39 models. Now, those three points is actually quite interesting because if you like drop an acolyte and like some axes and move around and stuff, you could potentially get up to 40 models or uh, he may struggle on that. and things. But like there uh, are the, Elliot, look, look at the warband. Look at the warband. There's yeah, yeah. a full warband, my man. <laughs> That's why it's 39 models. Okay. Well, well no, because he, <laughs> what, what he could do is quite easily turn on those Eastern Eastling warriors with shield into a, a black a dragon with that. pike yeah, yeah, and okay. shield. Yeah, um, yeah. If, if he moves things around, yeah. So, um, <laughs> Jamie has. <laughs> uh, I've also done that before on the pod uh, in a previous episode. Anyway, um, so Jamie's used Dragon Emperor many a time, um, and he's brought it out again for this event to, I guess, still show that it's. Still I mean, it it would be funny if he eventually wins like a hundred pointer as soon as the emperor gets nerfed, <laughs> rather than before. Well, it has already won a hundred pointer, so. Um... No, Elliot heads uh, and Jamie wins a hundred pointer. I know, I know, I was just saying, yeah. So <laughs> I, I know. I... I won a hundred point over the Dragon Emperor. I know. I, know, like, yeah. oh. <laughs> I, um, more, I don't know if Jamie's actually used this makeup of three heroes before. I think he's, uh, I've I think not he known him to use Dragon Knight on foot because he's such a Ratabi sort of I mean, he's usually a Ratabi person. So he used to, I think he used, he used to run, um, run a Dragon Knight. He's not run this. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've run this, pretty sure. Yeah, cl- clearly he's been... Going, oh, I need to save 15 points here. I'll drop the Dragon Knight um, mm-hmm. sort of armored horse because it seemed to work well for other people, namely me or Matt Light. Yeah. Um, I think that is, is like, would you rather take Rutabi and less models in this list? No. You, you Instead of, do you prefer Brogir? No. So would you... <laughs> I put it this way, I wouldn't be taking uh, Rutavi or Brogir. I'd be you, taking you... for Dragonite. Yeah, but like if you're if you're gonna take either Brogir or Rutavi, I feel like I'd rather have Rutavi than that 
Brawl Gear slot. Yeah, but Butabi is what, 25 points more? Yeah. So you have to, you'd probably lose having your cataphracts who aren't, haven't got a drum to sort of. Okay, so live reaction from Jamie Wiggins. So um, (laughs) right in saying that he um, usually runs the Dragonite mounted, and you guys were right in saying that it's his first time. Um, running these three heroes. I know Jamie, man. He's my he's my brother. Yeah. Um, 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 so I, we should have, we should probably mention though that um, uh, the Dragon Emperor list did win the uh, Warhammer World GT this previous weekend just gone. So yeah. not that one hundred. I will also say it was a good and evil event. So um, it, it's hard to tell how. Because good and evil can skew slightly sort of stronger and less. Because I mean, I went into the West and took a good and evil army. Like, sort of, my fear of guard slightly carried my Dunland <laughs> to second place. It wasn't like uh, my my Dunland did okay, but um, it was the fear of guard who did the heavy work in the sort of tough games. Um, so it, it it may it may be a good sign. It may be a bad sign, depending on your point of view. I just see this as standard Emperor, and I'll be intrigued to see how he does with it. Yeah, but I mean, to, to just touch on the Emperor, kind of, you know, generally, do we want to give our thoughts on kind of post FAQ? Do we see the Emperor going anywhere in any respect? I think it will just settle down to where it should be. It will still be able to podium events in the right, in the right hands, but I, I don't think it will quite be. The dominating force it was it would kind of like go to i don't know the the sort of upper mid tier so it'll perform like Alpha I, don't, Army. I wouldn't even i wouldn't even agree that it was a dominating force yeah see that's 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 where i'm at i think it was doing too well outside of the top of hundred i mean it, it was 90s for example it's just a very oppressive list that like is just quite easy to pilot but i mean it had it was the really bus- running the top end joint second most amount of GVHL 100 wins last year. So if you take Witch King Sully out of the equation as the alliance, um, I think it was, it was this it was and Assault on Helm's Deep, which also got a nerf. Um, so I think it, it was just... It wasn't as oppressive though as Witch King Sully, and obviously Witch King Sully didn't get enough. So. I mean, it depends on how you define oppressive. Uh, <laughs> like, I think it's more the reason why... Looking at uh, the amount of uh, uh, GVHL 100 podiums, maybe. Yeah, but... Um, <laughs> But generally, put it this way, I don't think we'll get a repeat of Wolf Slayer like we did last year, where seven or eight people like turned up with Dragon Emperor. Um, and the, the, I think the one thing with Dragon Emperor is it was probably more unviable now at lower points. It was never great, sort of, at low points in the same way. Um, let's say Witch King Sully, because it's scalable a bit more. But um, I think Dragon Emperor, you'll struggle to see it do well at any. I think lower than probably 700 is probably the lowest yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, perform yeah. that. Yeah, you <laughs> can sort of make it work at 600 ish. Mm. When we used to um, discuss the Dragon Emperor before it got nerfed, you used to say, oh, you play the Legion, you effectively get an extra free 36 points because of the free Black Dragon upgrade. And now you only get a free six points if you have every single model for your Black Dragon. So it's kind of like, Mm, which is yeah. why you do it with the way that I do it, and you run loads of Dragonites and then you still get all your free points. <laughs> yeah, which means you can you, you have to take more mm-hmm. Dragonites to get that, you know, spike I, in I, black. I dragon. think running the three musketeers in that legion, not the three named heroes, is gonna be like more difficult now. Yeah, because uh, yeah. they're just they're a lot of points. Because essentially that seven fifty point list becomes almost an eight hundred point list. Um yeah. But yeah, so maybe you just still good. Happen. Probably worth mentioning about the weapon swap FAQ as well. Um, in that, uh, See, I don't know why that was a thing because yeah, so I'm in the same boat as you. So <laughs> basically, it used to be you paid to swap one of the weapons, and because they got two weapons, he can have an axe and a sword. And then at the start of each game, it says you... specifically in the rule book, there's a bit that says at the start of each game, you must yeah. decide which weapon you want to use. For the yeah, game. so you That's could it. go to an event once you paid for the weapon swap and go, cool, I'm playing, let's just say, I don't know, um, elves in this game. So fainting's not going to be as handy. So I, And they've D6, so I want to have the axe. Whereas 
next game you could play possibly Goblin Town and go, well, I'm going to be wounding them anyway on four. Yeah, so I did, I did always think about that, though, to do with like uh, Moranans, for example. Like, mm. um, you know, obviously you can have either or, but I guess it's about what's modelled on the weapon. Um, yeah, because yeah. these but specifically are modelled with two. Yeah. Um, but one, I generally never knew that was actually the thing. I just thought, if you pay for the weapon swaps, you both had axes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, and it was a bit in the rule book, so I thought. Yeah. But, um, but basically, you can't do that anymore. It's if you pay for a weapon swap, you essentially have whatever you swap to. So in this case, I'm assuming Jamie's gone for axes, um, for the cataphracts and the uh, uh, axe on, on the two, Yeah, he did say he's yeah. probably just going to spend those points and add some more axes on. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, he they will. He can only ever pierce and strike now. He can't like go into a game and go. You know what? I'm better to faint. Yeah. Jamie wasn't doing that, anymore, but, but yeah. Um, any more closing thoughts before we move on on the FAQ or anything? No? Um, I mean, I like the broad gear pick. I know you guys were saying earlier that Ratabi is probably better. I guess maybe the prevalence of Witch it's Kings points, allows you no. to get mm. allows you to get the, the Fury up. And if you, you know, do a really good tremor, get lucky, you've got potential to spike a bit, bit, bit better than with Ratabi. So. Uh, I generally think at 700 points, if you're wanting to take broad gear, this is the best list you'll get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, doubt Jamie will podium though. <laughs> Classic Stem City, eh? <laughs> okay. Sorry, Jamie, prove me wrong. I'd love to see it. <laughs> yes, okay. On that note, we will move on to a pure Moria list. So, we're trying to review more of other people's lists. Uh, Moria, you know, like events, to kind of uh, <laughs> you know, uh, oh, freshen things up a little bit. So, it is a 55 model pure Moria list. So, it is led by Derbers leading. Three gobs with shield, three with spear shield, and one bat. Then he has Groblog leading, four with shield, four with shield, shield <laughs> two powers, a bat swarm. Uh, don't worry, uh, they're all like repeat warbands. Uh, then a more goblin shaman leading, two with shield, three with spear shield, and one prowler. And then he has four identical warbands, which is uh, a Moria black shield shaman, or is led by one of those, leading two with shield, three with spear shield, and one prowler. So 58 models on the nose. Um, no bows, but he's got like six throwing weapons in there. And 58 models. Pretty sure it's 55 from the list. that. I just said it's 58 on my bugging out. From the list that I was saying, it says 55. Uh, unless I didn't actually add up the amounts that are there, I just went off. Yeah, no, it's, it's, you said 58. That's why I thought, what? No, oh, I said 58. Oh, sorry, 55. Oh, <laughs> I thought it said 55. So it was break points 28. I think you were combining yeah, yeah. the two at the time. Yes. Um, uh, so pure Moria. Now, this being tra- um, taken by Will Champion, um, which I assume just for a bit of fun, but it's quite an interesting. You know, you see oh, this is going to ruin moments. someone's day. And yeah, that exactly. person is Jamie Wiggins. But like, <laughs> um, this. I love it. it. I, I'm not gonna lie. I love it. It can be. This could be so fun. Like it's gonna spike. you go. Okay, <laughs> I've got four black shield shamans who are all gonna cast tremor. Uh, let's see how many I get off on one dice. Oh, oh, I've cast three out of four. That's pretty good. And then you just go dead and you kill like <laughs> potentially eight or nine guys. Or it goes the other way and you don't cast any of the spells yeah. and then your army just gets absolutely crunched. I worry, so looking at it, it's there going, I worry it hasn't got enough model count to hold off on those turns where it, it's not going that, strong. Yeah. Um, that said, <laughs> it will absolutely ruin someone's day. It could be... oh, yeah. <laughs> it is just fun. That's the yeah. thing. He might not be so even going for the tremor play. He might just be trying to shatter everything. Oh no, yeah, like he, it, yeah. It, well, you can do both. It's like you've got four black shield shamans. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> like, yeah, you go, yeah, I think I don't know. I, I, I think the the more I would say it's more of a trap to fall into the. What was tremor cast shattering. on? Five, three. Five. And what, what, oh, no, sh- your tremor or shatter? Trevor. Oh, Trevor. Oh. But I was going to ask what Shatter cast on. So, Sam, what's it cast on? That's <laughs> three. No, thanks, Sam. Uh, I think, I think so, yeah, it's a trap to maybe try and shatter some things because most heroes are going to, with three will, resist the first one. And then you do another one, and then you're only down to two Tremors. And, like, this list isn't going to lose to heroes killing I, stuff. It's just going to lose to regular troops annihilating his regular troops. Yeah, it depends on what on the list floor, you face. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. 
like if you face an Azog, then like I don't care even if he's got four wheel magic resistance. Like yeah, yeah, you, obviously yeah. If you've got um, that sort of list, but this this will suffer to just regular line combat, and I think the tremors are going to be well. We'll 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 chat. We'll, you know, chapter will later yeah. on, and we'll find out <laughs> how well the tremors I, I, go throughout the tournament. Yeah, I think the, I think he'll end up using Shatter in some situations, especially because yes, I'm if not you, saying you won't use if you uh, unarm an enemy hero, you then actually don't even need a bat swarm in there to be in combat. Yeah, yeah, like, um, and that's the they're the only two ways he's got really um, of taking yeah, out no, big heroes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Um, you just trap with Derbers, Groblog's ability goes off, and you get a fight six Derbers. Yeah, that's cool. And it, but um, Sully's manner is going to fucking shatter in this. Yeah. <laughs> the other things just to point out was that all of his spear goblins do have shields. So yeah. uh, someone converted a lot of spear <laughs> shield goblins uh, with a lot of spare shields. Um, I mean, it's the way to do it, right? Because he's already like being D four yeah. in the back rank is a. I, you know, I, I agree. Um, I worry though that. <laughs> this list may get somewhat glitzed in a couple of games when it just like in two turns or something like that. It doesn't have March, does it? So it, no. if it faces shooting, it could just get shot off the board. Yeah, and we saw that there were four eyes and guard coming. Is it a... like you play if you play Lords of Battle against a shooting list, you've got Moving five inches, if the person moves back, you're taking five turns of shooting. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's one of the just... that it's that Lords of Battle game potentially or Contest Champions is game five. Yeah. Like that's pretty late on in the tournament. You're going to be playing, if you're, yeah. you're 4 0, you're playing someone that's also 4 0. Yeah, like, you don't want to be having potentially your weakest because what is it? Lords of Battle and Contest of Champions. Yeah. It's yeah. in that contest because you can just. He- like shatter like the enemy leader yeah, um Derbaz still though isn't I would still put money against a, an unarmed leader beating Derbaz in, in some <laughs> situations yeah. um not everyone they have a banner so it's like to the death mm. a person with a banner can just again shoot still like they still have that ability yeah but into the death against this you just uh, you just hide lie your banner down under a bridge or behind yeah. a building I, like you keep I, it away from <laughs> I think Will will go four and two with this, um, and well, he may get five and one. He better go six to no because the, the Patreons need to see this this before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, this is obviously I'm just, why he's taking it. He's obviously done an article or something. Yeah, I'm just there uh, going in a manoeuvring scenario. You don't have uh, March, so you could get caught out on that. That is first. Yeah. Game. That's fine. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm sort of more just looking through it, like. Maelstrom or battle, you could just get screwed. You, I mean, you could also go really well because that it, it's the army with shatters. You could walk on and then tremor like down the line where people came on. I mean, why um, has he taken? You know, wh- uh, why does he need to have the normal shaman in there? I get it's obviously got the transfix. It's, uh, it's uh, fury. fury. It's just fury. So, fury. like when he yeah, breaks, yeah, he's, right, right, it right. isn't just game over. Yeah, um, right. Objects and I, he could struggle in as well. Um, yeah, he's a prize. Because I, I, yeah, I mean, he's got the bat swarms, but oh yeah, I fly over, pick it up, oh, and then one of the many people transfix or something like that, or just charges the bat swarm, and like, uh, so it's not a great tactic against a lot of people. Hold objects, you're right. Uh, yeah, I think game four and five are going to be difficult if he doesn't get the right matchup. Assuming what, he's got uh, one, three or four before then. Potentially. Somebody who has taken forty-five uh, dwarfs in Army of Thrall would have a very good time against that. Would be an interesting game <laughs> because what? why? Even your because even no, your we, we can discuss game. that later. <laughs> okay, fine. Yes, let's 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 table that. <laughs> and any closing thoughts on Will's list before we move on? I, it, I was it, just going to follow up on the point of if it fa- faces D seven, the tremors become far less scary because you're only one in three killing stuff as opposed to yeah. if you're playing D6 yeah. as the 50-50 okay you're going to kill a lot whereas anything it, higher I think this could actually potentially scare all of those halls of fan drills less and stuff like that because you auto pass the courage to charge you've got 20 more models um, and like you've got all these tremors to ruin things but 
Yeah. I think it's Depends really going to come down to what he plays and when. Yeah. What um, scenario? <laughs> Elf shooting is great. And, and, and what those shamans roll. Well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep, he better bring his best dice uh, for the weekend. Go Tremors. Okay, um, moving on. Uh, we have a Pits of Dolgaldor list. Um, so it is led by Azog, who's leading 10 Hunter Orcs, uh, and then another one with a bow, uh, five Gundabads with Spear Shield, one with Banner Spear Shield, and a Felwag, a uh, Gundabad Captain with Shield leading eight normal Hunter Orcs, uh, three Gundabads with Spear Shield, and one Felwag, and then a Hunter Orc Captain on foot leading eight Hunter Orcs. Three good about spear shield and a Velwag. So 45 models. Pits of Dolgador. I guess I chucked this one in here because I thought 45 model pits with Azog running around. It's a fairly decent place to be. Like another list we're gonna look at is like 33 models. Uh so right. like it's 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 on the higher end of model count for 700, and you've got Azog running around. You haven't taken a horn, so you've tried to sort of save, but I guess I just generally wondered whether this is something that people could be a little bit worried about facing, potentially. I think Loki, this could do well. Uh, it's, it dep- I mean, <laughs> it's the same with any other, but as you said, 45 models is going to be the upper range. Yeah. And as a free hurt combating means that you could go in with, let's just say, a five model advantage after that first turn of heroic combat, you could have a nine model advantage. Yeah. Um, where I worry is if you face a crossbow or heavy shooting army, yeah, and safe. then suddenly that model count advantage or, or that white rock or someone. Yeah, yeah. Terror, um, I mean, Terra's <laughs> probably not so bad from Witch King Sully because Azor can remove like a third of the Black Numenorians okay. by himself in one turn. <laughs> If he resists uh, the double spell. Yeah, <laughs> but he's got four will and magic resistance and six might, which if the person's using it is sensible, because you, you, you've got three heroic combats, you just go, cool, I'm just going to like make sure resist I resist everything. on the first two yeah. turns and then he's done the job. But there's some advice for when you play Ash, um, whoever <laughs> this is. <laughs> is this Dave Nixon out of interest? It is, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um it's because I notice he's got some uh, orc warriors with spears and shield to um, This does hit like a, tr- like a truck. And also it's got the three... Uh, he's kind of gone for the hunter orc battle line as opposed to the hunter orc wrapping. I mean, mm. it can do wrapping, but it's also got that front battle line of the spears yeah. behind. So lots of strength for lots of dice and the scary Azog. If you can pilot Azog correctly, very nice. But I think... It's the trouble with running heroes that's very expensive is if you do make an error or you do whiff, bad things happen. Especially D5 as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, he's got four points of march, though, outside of Azog. So in any kind of movement scenarios, you know, you know that Azog's going to get there with a full tank, you know, ready to ready to go sort of thing as yeah, yeah. Probably the movement you need from the captains. I'm trying to fit uh, in terms of objective order it's probably not in terms of a um, mission we're playing it's yeah. probably not bad for the list because you got kill enemy and hold objective last which depends on the hold objective but kill enemy he'll do well in game five you'd you'd hope <laughs> um you would hope so uh, yeah it's a good i, I, I think it's there. solid yeah i just i wanted to get your guys's views on whether you know it would be something you'd be sort of a little bit worried to see on the other side of the table and I think mostly. I personally would. Be... Yeah, I think it it's going to be like, for me, like, is it, we'll come to it later. It's like, it's not, I'm not going to be jumping in joy if I play this, yeah. but also I'm not going to be terrified. Yeah. Really? Um, terrified, yeah. Sam's probably slightly more worried than I am. But, uh... Yeah. I mean, again, it's, it's again, it just depends if Azog whiffs or not, really. Like needing, say, you say if you need six to wound, for example, does he, you know, do he's going to need five. Yeah, like, do you whiff? Do you oh no, he will need six, six won't he? Shut up! I'm yeah, thinking six. my army. Yeah. <laughs> really need, do you get a six on the first three dice, and if you don't, then then you're thinking, oh, okay, I'm going to spend might in this combat kind of thing because otherwise I won't get my combat off, and you know, with bad wound rolls. It, it, yeah. I okay. think it really will depend on how quickly Azul has to burn his might. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, that usually goes with. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think if it can avoid shooting, it's fine. Like as in, it will do well. If it ends up getting a couple of eyes and guards or like some heavy shooting. Yeah. In normal scenario, it, yeah. I think that will be what holds it back. If it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gobel, what do you think? Um, well, there's one range of Athelion, right? That would be possibly the worst ever matchup for us. <laughs> <laughs> the death. There we go. I, I, spoke yeah, I was actually really intrigued to see what pits would look like at this point because I haven't seen it yeah. run really at 700. Yeah, because um, you usually see I'm, it I'm, I'm intrigued to see how this does. I think it will be really good. It's actually have we noticed a trend of shooting. perfectly full war bats <laughs> at the moment yeah. in a lot of these lists. Yeah, but also, you say it's going to be bad against like, those Isengard lists, but it's only really going to be taking like one turn of that shooting because of the auto priority. Yes, so does, if, if the bomb does a, on Azog, that could yeah. be. <laughs> yeah, can you bomb Azog? Does he count as two models or one? One model, surely. Uh, um, uh, I think it's just one. He is one model at that point. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, if Azog gets bombed, I mean, you'd hope for... <laughs> It's not even if Azog gets taken off the walk, which isn't like the easiest thing, he's actually a lot easier to manage and a lot less scary. Yeah. Um, obviously, the other thing is the Hunter Orcs are Hunter Orcs, but they are only fight free, so it yeah. would be one of those ones of like if you roll, <laughs> if your opponent rolls a six, there's not much you can do. Yeah, that um, is what I found a lot when I play pits. It's like you ultimately. If you lose fights with the troops, you can quite often just lose, even if Azog does a shit ton of work. You just can't win the game yeah. with only one hero. So, you know. Um, I like this personally. I'll I'll say again, just because I'm handing out compliments to lots of people today, I think this is the best version of the list you're probably going to get, realistically. Yeah. No keeper. Keeper bad. <laughs> you may see what do you mean? Dog 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 his favourite hero. Yeah, with the Keeper of the Dungeons <laughs> in an upcoming bat red. Coming. <laughs> I mean, soon, so well, probably in like a month or maybe even more. But anyway, <laughs> um, so moving on from that list, then we have a pure Erebor reclaimed list, which is led by Thorin, King Under the Mountain, uh, on his goat with Orcrist, leading uh, two Iron Heels with shield, five with spear shield, one with banner spear shield and two with crossbow. Uh, then he has Gloin leading two with shield, five with spear shield, two with crossbow and one goat rider. And then an Iron Heels captain on goat with the war spear, leading three with shield, five with spear shield, and two with crossbow. So, thirty three models. Obviously, far lower count. This was the list I was referring to a moment ago with the thirty three models. But, um, you know, DA Iron Hills shield wall, the fight five captain on the goat with the spear with the master of battle, Thorin free threat combating, Loin's really good value. I would. Uh, I mean, going for it. Our. Uh... Channel Dwarf Boys, Sam and Ali, uh, may disagree, but I would have potentially wanted to bump those crossbows up to ten. Have max crossbows. Well, I was going to say, to, I was going to ask Ali. <laughs> I was waiting for everyone else's opinion. <laughs> well, no, I, I, I personally, I personally think if you're going to do this, I think I, I, think, I, I imagine Ali would have done this as well. Is take Biffa instead of the captain and go higher crossbows because if you're going to have that crossbow, you lose the march. You do lose the march, but you have more crossbows. And unless you play Blind and Light, that amount of crossbows, you should outshoot. So Ali does I, like a captain. Maybe. What I would have actually done is drop Gloin to Biffa. Oh, okay. um, get the crossbows and get an extra model. Um, or maybe... I'm trying to remember the point of difference. So, yeah, maybe two extra models just to bump your model count up a little bit. Biffa's well. 65, right? Yeah. Gloin's 90, so you get 25. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, there's other things you can do, but you're completely redoing the list if you do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, um, <laughs> but you, so one other option you could have done with this is instead of going and the Iron Hills captains, you go Dane and then you go four and Dane. Um, and you're pretty much be model count one. 700 is difficult, I think, for this version of whatever we claimed. Um, I, I would prefer a couple more crossways. Um, it's just I like you'll need you them. take six. You take six, and it's kind of a waste because if you come up against any shooting, they're gonna try and outshoot you because you've only got six crossbows. So if they eventually get one or two, you start to outshoot them really quickly. Mm. But then having six, just like you've just got 
six D6 models with yeah. no split for no reason. Um, so I don't. The best thing about like... Iron Hills Dwarves of Crossbows is there's still a Fight Four, Strength Four, D6, Courage Four model. So they're, yeah. they're a match for like every army's elites anyway. And so you may be, oh, it's annoying, I'm not getting the D7 or the D8, but you're not losing much if you can't shoot with it. So I don't think there's that much issue in bumping up your crossbows and then you find a game where you can't use them as you want to because in the games where you can it it can be a deal breaker in this list especially when you've only got 33 models and and in the in the shooting war which we love to talk about (laughs) having 10 crossbows you're gonna have a good shot at out shooting a lot of other armies yeah Yeah. especially because you're a dwarf so exactly (laughs) your front rank you know, in the ways, yeah. Yeah, I I think the list is fine, but there's a few tweaks. I definitely would have wanted to try and get out to 34 models. Um, yeah. That would have been really good. Yeah, yeah. just for that great point. Um, the uh, yeah, and they've even, they've even um, shout out to whoever this is, they've modelled the Iron Hills with shield, so they've had to, you know, convert. This is Mr. David Rubin, we'll have you know. Who is it? It is. Who, who did you say? Uh, David Reed. Ah, shout out to David Reed for. Com- I've not known him to use. Uh, maybe, maybe he's um, switching dwarves this year. Um, I mean, my whole thing is who is a uh, Kazadoom trick. Yeah, uh, uh, um, seven hundred points. I think going old Dane, arable reclaimed is better. Um, because one, you get a six-inch banner effect, um, and you can just get the model count a little bit nicer. And like it balances a bit more. 33 but... models does seem a much low, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, you are all dwarves. It's so... all Iron Hills as well, so, you know, deep. Um, but, but it's like we're on about, if you face that as or can talk list, like, you've got four in, so actually four can go actually kill as to be fair, because he's got all Chris, so I'll take that bit back a bit. But, <laughs> um, but it, you, yeah, your models could drop quite quickly. Um, yeah. It, it's it's all right. It's not quite how I would do it if I was asked yeah. to do it. I thought it was a bit of an interesting one for... Mm. Yeah, it screams four and two to me. Like, screams. Yeah. Yeah. But again, dwarves, uh, dwarves of the uh, Order of Sinai's are good for dwarves. So, yeah, true. Um, that, at this event. So, yeah. Should be yeah. all right on that front. Okay. Um, that is going to do it for David's uh, Arable Reclaimed list. Moving on, we have the winning list for Preston, <laughs> gathering at the Grey Havens. 700 points on the nose. He didn't need the spare point. He didn't fancy a, an axe upgrade on the Balrog. <laughs> <laughs> um it's it's a it's a pure Moria list. It's the Balrog with a cave drake and a watcher in the water. Um is this is this Jordan from, from uh any heroics? I think we let James do because this is this is a James Goble list right here. And I think totally we need to let him. I, I have one question. <laughs> how many shatters do you think will get cast on these models? And how many it, <laughs> <laughs> how does the watcher work? Do you shatter a tentacle? Well, you can only shatter the barrel. <laughs> can't shatter, the, shatter these models, so it's clearly yeah. the best list ever against women. <laughs> I'm a James Bond thing. Oh my god, I've gone into darkness. Oh. <laughs> yeah, is that because it, you were doing I more? I was taking this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is Moment, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's hilarious, but I don't think it will do well. <laughs> like, Ali, you'd be quaking if you saw some Chad put down a Balrog and watch her. I like, mean, no. If you played this, <laughs> wouldn't. you won't because that's pull four. If you played this in a lot of battle contests, yeah, exactly. I uh-huh. know. Oh, so the thing is, though, I'm still fine because you can kill it before it drops to 25%. So you either table and win that way, or like you yeah, just lose I mean, anyway. What are you gonna do when uh, the watcher just disappears? Find some deep water and goes bye bye. Yeah. Stays on the board. You okay. can't win. This isn't Lord of Bubbles. It's the wrong event for this list. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, Ali pimping his brother's event. Love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> promotion. Yeah. What actually happens with that if you if you decide to never bring the watch on the board? So you have the barrel going cave Jake. So then that that's it. You just never yeah, I think there is a rule. Um someone when you, will probably when it... check on making a comment that you count as um a casualty if you're not on the board at the end of the game. Well, that would make sense. Yeah. 
Yeah, sure, um, it's the same with all those sort of rules. Then it's not the end of the game, though, is it? Mm. isn't on the board, it counts as being a casualty. Yeah. So um, what you, do is you keep rolling. Uh, you, or you, if you, you decide, if you not decide to, to never bring it in, you can't roll. If you if you bring it in, oh. then suck something into the water and deploy off the board, you then have to roll again. Before you go off on a massive tangent, do you want to read the rule book and see what it actually says? <laughs> Let's not go into a big deep dive on this list because that wasn't the intent of putting it in the preview. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually incredibly funny. If you if your whole job <laughs> is to just ruin someone's get day by <laughs> taking just a watch that never deploy. I mean, yeah. admittedly, <laughs> killing the barrel to watch on the cave Drake is more of an achievement than, like, <laughs> otherwise yeah. we'd say. But um, it, it's not an auto win in those scenarios for that reason. You never know. He could, like, have the watcher deployed, pull a model in, and then heroic combat off that model with the barrel rock. You know, that's a little bit of a synergy there. You know, yeah. I'd be, that, that is a him. watcher synergy. This man Even knows what he's doing. Okay, it's Yakum. Rip. He's Yakum got a barrel rock rip, so you don't really need the watcher, but. I mean, it is hilarious. I don't think this person's going thinking they're going to win the event. I do. I think they are. Never Who is this down, Ali? We need to shout them out. We need to shout them out. Yeah, and, and if you're watching this, <laughs> don't tear this it up. This is Jay Acharya's list. And, um... Yeah, so every time you criticise it, he goes on wins the event. So I'm bigging yeah. it up for the team by That's bringing good, it yeah. down. <laughs> Ali understanding his role. Let's go. Uh, okay, so moving on. We are going to get into our lists uh, of those of us who are going. Now, we're not going to cover all of our lists. We're kind of trying to change things up a little bit by covering more lists of other people that go into the event. But uh, we are covering most of our lists. So uh, starting off with uh, Ben's Defenders of Erebor list. Uh, it is led by Dane Ironfoot as the old uh, Dane, leading... 49 heels with spear shield, two with crossbow, and two goat riders. Then he has Brand, King of Dale, leading eight warriors of Dale with elf bow and spear. Um, just on Lonely Night, it's called Elfbow, whatever. And uh, nine Knights of Dale. Uh, and then he has a solo drop of a Captain of Dale uh, to round off the list at 38 models, um, eight mites, and 10 bows. What do we think? I think Ben's crazy, but I love him. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh... The, I mean, the list is fine. Defenders of Erebor is just... It's an underwhelming Legendary Legion in that you could <laughs> run this as an alliance and then you just switch some of the elf bows to, like, crossbows instead. And then I think you're better off half the time. Um, I think you get two free combats. You don't get the Chad heroic play. Um, yeah, but you, get a, you only get a combat on... The only character where it's really useful is Dane. And it's when he's near Brand, who's now got himself in a dodgy position. But and you can like your own brand. Yeah. You can just charge one model and trap himself so Dane gets a combat for free and that's Wasn't it. Wasn't there an FAQ saying you can't do that? I don't think so. I will I have a live on the podcast, folks. Um well, I, I play Ben brand? and Ben 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 utilizes that. And I think it's I don't think you can do it with one sphere. I think it's so it's not if it's trapped at the start. Oh it Maybe do you mean as in he won't move the spear? I can't remember. Elliot's looking no, up. So, we can no, talk so, about other stuff anyway. In the yeah, meantime. no, I know what you're on about. <laughs> he's, he's, it's not that he'll he'll make it so like the there's even if you back the spear away, you're still trapped. Uh, yeah, so you're genuinely trapped as opposed. Yeah, uh, yeah. So if it's an FAQ to do with the legendary legion, the only FAQ to do with the legion um, isn't about the backing away thing. It's just. Um, do any models need to be within three inches of all the listed characters to... Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, it's one where... The, the problem with these alliances, even if it's Legendary Legion or not, is what is Dale bringing to the Iron... or the Erebor Reclaimed list? Yeah. And it's bows, and then in this list, they don't get bows that help on a free plus, and you, you can't quite get the model count. Because, I mean, really? you're still stuck at 38 models, which mm-hmm. is the same amount as the Dragon Emperor Legend of Legion that Wiggins is running. So these really aren't elf bows, then? No. Traditionally, it sort of would be. This is sort of a prime example, I think, where... Because the whole point behind Legendary Legions is that they're, they're meant to represent a thematic thing about the game they don't just make legendary legions to make them op sure they might sort of do that as well so people want to use them but they primarily make them around something thematic to do with the game yeah. that's exactly what this is like it isn't actually that good but they wanted to be a legion about honestly if, if this legion had the dale warriors still get the free flush shoot value then i'd be perfectly fine with it it's just that like one thing kind of is an unnecessary handicap so you're, you're... 
you, you make a decision, don't you, on your front line here? Because he's paid Knights of Dale aren't cheap for is it ten or eleven points? Eleven. Eleven, I thought. So it's same price and basically as an Iron Hills dwarf without sphere. Same price as an Iron Hills dwarf. And it's like, okay, do I put my D six warriors in the front to get the plus one to wound? Or do I put my D eight and shield warriors in the front to get defence eight? But it's it, it, yeah, that, that, that's no, that's the other annoying thing about this is yeah. because you only get the reroll ones when you're within an inch of a friendly other half model, whatever you call it. You can't mix the war vans, and if you're putting Dale or behind or in front of dwarves, you then end up losing the shield wall bonus pretty much instantly. So it's kind of it. It normally doesn't synergize in the way that. I feel like the army should do. Yeah, like, I think I think maybe they should have made it where you can mix the war bands because obviously yeah, the whole point but, is that they're fighting together. So yeah, that's I what would... I was hoping it was going to do, and there's the legendary legion, and it did. not Yeah, you should be able to mix the war bands, and if you gave the knights of Dale maybe the shield wall special rule, that might help it out. Yeah, because um... that's the thing. Those eleven points. they I want to say that they're, they're quite overcosted for what they actually bring. Whereas if you made them D7, woo, yeah. now we're talking. The, the plus one to wound one being charged is not as good as it sounds as well. Um, no, it is there because you just charge into them and then when they start to die, well, now it's well, yeah, like, only D6. Um, but it's right. I, I think Ben with this, a 100 pointer is a, is a level too far to podium with it. Um, if I'm being I mean, honest. he has podiumed with it at 100, doesn't he? So. Does he? Yeah. It's, well, yeah. Which uh, one was that? Contest 650 last. contest champions. Uh, 650, I can get it because your model count suddenly goes from being average to high because you don't have the like Dale Captain. The captain. It's it's the points level I don't think quite sinks yeah, well. You'd, in get, this. you'd still get th- 38. You'd still get yeah. 38 models, wouldn't you? Or and do you remember if he ran it like this without the captain? Yeah, no, he did. Yeah, Brandon. Down. It was, it was like yeah. that. which even then is a risk and like because you you're relying on the goats for your mo- mobility yeah. um, i do like the solo drop captain as a you know yeah uh, his... yeah i think it's good i think it's a good use yeah. of the points going yeah. up. i mean to, he doesn't to, have much else to, to but... quote um one of the earlier sort of comments i think from sam again i think this is a four and two list <laughs> at best <laughs> it screams four and two um, um i i personally would probably put a few more crossways in um, if I could, um, yeah. yeah. But Ben's used it a lot. He knows what he's doing. Oh right. yeah, no, Ben's a good player, and he, uh, that's why he'll go for one too. I think most other players, I'd say, it's free and free. Um, See, yeah. a, a final point, I guess, on this. If, if we're going to move on, how many extra models would you get if you just swap the Knights of Dale for regular Dale with with spears, spears, spears and shields? Go. Got it out. And then you'd took away all the spears off the board. You'll get two so you're to three extra models. Uh, pushing, it, pushing it up above the 40 mark. So then maybe you get a little bit better and you just sack off the plus one to wound. Which I mean, it. the thing is, you could drop two models from this, make brand like Gloin, uh, and then like the captain of Dale, I don't know, Biffa. And then you've got <laughs> a full, and it, but then you've got a full Arable Reclaimed Army, which. Is better at shooting because all your bows become like crossbows. Your model count's not too far off where you are at the moment. Um, you've got a better secondary combat hero. You get a six inch banner, which is here and there with the two three inch banners. Oh, you just have such a hard on for dwarves, don't you? That's not as themey, um, Ali, is it? All right, yeah, it's, it's perfectly themey. Don't you get it? We're all about it's, the theme on this podcast, you know, it's yeah. like a legion. It's like a legion. But, Ali, you don't even give us your hobby updates. When you join the pod, what's that? Huh? Well, should I tell you what my hobby what has been in the like... last month? <laughs> like, update just, me on just, your hobby. I've done literally nothing since the GP. <laughs> <laughs> I've also <laughs> basically done nothing since the GP. Yeah. <laughs> my hobby updates will come later on in the video. <laughs> right, now, on that note then, let's yeah. move on to... Let's Ali go. Kings. Oh, he's going to get to talk about dwarves more. No, <laughs> well, no. it's going to be a long order. podcast for anyone who doesn't like dwarves. I think. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, take us through your list, Ali, please. I don't want it. I want your dulcet tones to read it off. Oh, 
Fine. Well, <laughs> Ali, you no, 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 Ali, no. That's why. Yeah, it's, it's. Oh, no. I just thought as, as podcast you need host, to it's public speaking. So come on, give us some. <laughs> come on, give us some fervor here. <laughs> 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 you know, David so, on the pod. Come on. It is an army of four. <laughs> army it is the only one going to the event. Uh, unless if there's a late change of list from anyone. So the leader and army of four, as it should be, is four, cool. king under the mountain, um, leading 18 of his Grimmer hammers, so the guardians of the king, so strength four. Then warband two is a captain of Erebor with shield, leading two warriors of Erebor with shield and 10 warriors of Erebor with spear and shield. Sorry, don't you mean 10 warriors of Erebor with shield and 10 with shield and spear? No. I mean, I don't think that joke's going to work on the podcast no, because okay, you put up the but, but It was there. It was there. <laughs> Move on. And then uh, Warband 3 is Captain of Erebor with Shield, and then three Warriors of Erebor with Shield, and nine Warriors of Erebor with Spear and Shield. So for a total of 45 models, Breakpoint, 23 dead, 25%, 12 models remaining, zero, bar, zero uh, bows, but with 18 throwing weapons, and a total of seven might. Look at those lovely and, bats and the army bonus for this is four is a six inch banner. That is a solid breakdown from you there, Ali. Uh, Come on, well done. Even when picking. you try and throw me off with your heckle in there, <laughs> sorry. That's why you didn't want to read it. You just wanted a heckle. I know. I got to keep you. You, know, <laughs> you got <laughs> excited. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, so army of four, forty-five models. Pretty tough, right? This is uh, this is pretty hefty. I mean, let's go. We're going to go back to uh, an age old idiom that uh, Alistair King t- told me. Uh, <laughs> outnumber somebody and you've got dwarfs, you've probably already won. And this is outnumbering a lot of opponent models with a lot of D7 guys. Um, so if it holds true, Ali, I've got high hopes for you. Thanks, Ash. I would suggest. <laughs> That the fact that you've got your maneuvering scenario and Maelstrom game one and three also helps you because your best scenarios are the killing ones. And then I guess holding objectives is also okay for you because you can deploy in the middle. Uh, I've also got two captains in March, and if I'm on an objective, shifting me is going to be that's that's difficult. that's the big thing like you you can't shift 45 dwarfs off of any really important objectives um and, and you've just, got 18 yeah. strength four guys as well the captain's being captains are quite well i've actually got 21 strength four guys <laughs> <laughs> um elliot that is a disgusting bar of chocolate <laughs> Cream egg chocolate bar. Cream egg, bro. That is yuck. Cream egg is I just... Yeah, I want to go back to what you made me not talk about, which is (laughs) uh, this list in its matchup against World Champion. The head-to-head between two uh, league winners. Um, Two people pass their best. Oh, two two, two has beens. <laughs> Hopefully, you're not past your best, Ali. We just recruited you to the fucking team. Well, I mean, I've already got you 99.3 points. What more do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, 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 you must, Elliot, you must be the most spoiled points. person ever if you're if Ali's past his best because <laughs> what was the last fucking score you had it? <laughs> Blood sour. That is a, a very glass house. Um, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so I think Will's list, like, as we said, it is low on the model count. Only having 10 more models than this really stinks. Um, Would you back yourself? Is there any circumstance that you wouldn't back yourself against Will's model? Yeah, he successfully casts all of his tremors and wounds with all of them and suddenly I come 12 <laughs> models down or something like that. That's a situation <laughs> where, which I would fear and will probably happen. <laughs> but um, <laughs> even then, actually with 33 models, like say to kill 12 in one turn of tremor, I wouldn't feel too bad in that matchup. Yeah, because then all the tremors <laughs> are out of the way and you've still got yeah. 30 whatever dwarves to his you know, goblins. Yeah. I like to think I'm not a big enough idiot to accidentally lose that. 
you know when you've got like an auto win game against world champion at like maybe round one of an event and like there's no way you could lose um to the point where you you make a bet um i don't think i would do that gobel do you have anything to add um yeah um, are you sure you're about to kill other dwarf <laughs> like I'm just <laughs> <laughs> oh damn but there's quite a lot of other dwarves there but you're like d3 no d3 strength 3 like everywhere so you're not but, worried apart about from this. all the models that are strength 4 that Ash mentioned yeah but they, <laughs> they're obviously going to be like priority 1 targets for the other player so so here's a question though so you're saying other dwarves what defence is yeah. dwarves yeah, that's what I mean. They're going to be D7 yeah, they're, they're, or above, so you're not going to be killing well, them. Well, they're going to be D7, so okay. And what, you haven't got any plus one doing or anything on what, what any does, of your heroes. What does strength four need? Do. What's the strength four need to win D7? Sixes. What does strength three need to win D7? Sixes. Yep. Cool, thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> <laughs> that's still not answered my question. How are you going to kill them? How are they killing me back? I mean, we're both useless oh, at so it. That's the thing, you've got Thor and two captains. Or someone who's got like Old Dane or something, they're actually going to be going through them. Yeah, and there also would be like twelve models left. Knock someone down. But yeah, Fallen sure. doesn't kill either reliably. But this way, it's they're going. I'll have the theory is I'll have twelve more models or ten more models at least in those armies, and so those heroes which can kill a couple of models, they're probably not going to be able to make up the difference. Is the theory? I would also I... just um, the the fact that Ali's got a six inch banner also is a lot nicer than some of the other dwarf lists like I, I guess the one we looked at only had a three inch banner as well so you've got more dice it it could spike like if thorin and Glo because gloin especially is killing you know at dwarf a turn potentially two but i don't know if that's enough i just think that so even just... gloin needs five to wound so he's reliably only killing one a turn not if he piercing strikes man yeah, yeah so... come on if you're a chad you piercing strike yeah, and it, not and... only and then I bash him, screaming. and then he's on the floor, and then I bonk him on the head some more. <laughs> what? Sorry, you bash him? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I feel like I need to explain this. Bash is the single greatest thing in this army list, and like, if you if you haven't been bashed, you, you've not really like you haven't lived, lived if you haven't been bashed <laughs> by Ali King. Like, right. um, so if you charge, say, enemy who is charge a guardian of the king, you bash. Because if you win the combat, which you'll have like three or f three to five dice usually, um, depending on how many models they charge, you then basically force them to either go for what is less than a 50-50 chance, assuming they're strength four, or use might to make sure they win that combat. I've had Lee Robbins bash. Come on, Ali, for the viewers, what does his... bash do? You... So, <laughs> so if I win combat, you and me roll a dice, Ash, and add our strength. If we are tied then you are knocked prone and if you're not mount you're not flying and such for a strength free hit all the other models in the combat then get to double their strikes <laughs> against you immediately so, so it's still not the same so it's not no. the same as if you roll a one after you've killed someone so... no it happens before other models strike so if you That's... pick the order so nice. instead of going i do that to someone who's charged me i knock them prone. Solid, say? yeah yeah so Sullivan, i knock him prone <laughs> You then take a strength free hit because you've been not flying. You're also on the floor, and then my sphere support still gets to essentially make two strikes against you because you're now prone, <laughs> still wounding on fives. So and then like next turn, if you don't win priority, then I just charge you while you're still prone and you can't do anything. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, no, I can see. Yeah, and it, it's a it's the most underused special strike in the game, and I actually. I'm in the slight camp of I think if you're always equipping all your Moranans with um, axes, you may actually be worth considering going for maces instead um, because Bash is that good in my opinion. Do you, you have to roll the? Do you have to roll the strength three for not flying straight away, or can you roll it after you've rolled your dice to win? I think it says in the not flying thing that you yeah need as soon as you take yeah. It. Roger. So as soon as you are, what, what, what's the situation you're thinking about? It's like say, if, say if um, you know you try and kill Saladin, for example, yeah, secure you a do, kill. Yeah. You do three wounds, um, and you could have done. You could have invited the fourth to kill him instantly, but you, you know, there's like, another 
Yeah, right. Uh, right. I'm going to assume in this situation that this is without reading the rule book because you're not flying before I make the other strikes. You would do the strength free then. I think you are not trying, like it says, as soon as you're not. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if it's you take your strength yeah. free straight away, that's, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to assume that is the case. but um... It could change if you might dice or not to kill. Yeah. Here's something I've also just thought about. If you're knocked flying and you're the Sullivan player and you roll a five and you've got might, because it's your dice roll, can you might it down to not take a wound? No. No. You can't influence that dice roll. You also can't use might to influence the bash die as well, by the way. Okay. Um, and actually, while we're talking about Sullivan, if you're prone, you don't get your six-inch banner. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it says what you can buy might. Like down yeah, it's in more. the list. It's not. It, it's it's more. like the fainting, you know, like the D three, like you can't. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, fair enough. But yeah, yeah, so actually, that's another example. If you're facing someone with a banner and you know they're going to just pass it on if you kill them, um, mm-hmm. or it's someone with multiple wounds, if you bash them instead, you put them on the floor, they don't get the benefit of the banner and they can't pass it on. <laughs> yes. Does piercing strike affect bash before? <laughs> or no, for the same reason it doesn't chariot. Okay. <laughs> you never know. The questions come up. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. I think that's going to do it for Ali's Army of Thor. It's yeah, very spent more time talking about Bash, to be honest. Do we have a tier list at the end of yeah. it? We are. Yes. Yeah. So, Yippee! It's a very, very good list. Uh, 45 models and... Yeah. Admittedly, I just came up with this list because I was like, there going, how many models can I draw? Can I fit in 700? And then it kind of fit almost perfectly. I was just like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, okay. Moving on, James, we have your Rivendell <laughs> Numenor Last Alliance list. <laughs> Ali's dwarves are trembling. Do you want to take of... us through it? Ali, why don't you read it out for me? Oh, oh, I got, oh. You've got to read out your own list. That, that, yeah, that, that is true, James. You do have to read out your own list, James. Sorry, mate. Mm, I haven't the last three times, so. That's a, you need to this that's, time. That's, you need to get public speaking as well, then. Yeah, yeah. come on, mate. Fine. Right, yeah, it's a it's a classic me list. So we've it got is. Numenor and Rivendell, 32 models. The leader of the army is Elendil. He's on a horse with a shield. He's got five warriors of Numenor with shield, three with spear and shield, four spear and bow, and one with a banner spear and shield. And then we move on to the Rivendell section. We have Eristor with four elves with shield, four with spear and shield, three with spear and bow, and a Rivendell knight. And then the last war band is Kirdan with two elves with shield and two with spear and bow. Six might, three combats. Yeah. Ten bows. Yeah. Ten if bows. you want to see James run rampant with Elendil, you can go and check out one of our previous battle reports on the channel. <laughs> Against my hunter <laughs> Um, So have you ran Elendil before? When was the last time you ran Elendil? Um, the last time I ran Elendil was in the Hero of Lemons. <laughs> <laughs> I ran this exact list, but at 800 points. Basically, it just had 38 models instead. Yeah. Um, it was, was, yeah, that? It was pretty good. Uh, that was for Sterling. Oh, Sterling. Yeah, which, if you've watched that preview, you'll have heard me speak about this yes. already. So we don't need to talk about it now. Oh, <laughs> I just thought it was, you know, James hasn't taken Elendil for... Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but does Elendil's horse benefit from Fortify Spirit? It does. Cool. Um, I mean, I think it's good think... scared of Witch King Sally's. Oh, we've had this quite debate. A lot of this is, uh, where's, where's Vince well, Wong? So. Oh, no, 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 not again, not again. <laughs> I feel like I've just caught some sort of trigger I wasn't aware of. We... Wait, Vince, okay, I'll ask him to join. I'll ask him to join. He'll be home by now. We oh, no. We need think... to keep the podcast shorter. <laughs> we don't think this scares the Witch King Sully list. <laughs> Why? Because you're at only 32 models. And yeah. if Elendil gets transfixed or gets compelled, which is way worse, he is very likely to die. Whereas if he just keeps resisting spells... At worst, you lose four models a turn. So which why is... takes... So in which King Sally? The actual yeah. which King Sally battle line isn't very large. Ash, no, as you I'm, know. I'm also there going. How many wizards do you actually have in which King Sally? Two. And I mean, we'll find out, I guess, in a minute. What What are your two types of wizard? Which King and the mouth of Sal? Yeah, a Lendl with fortify spirit, free will, and free might to back it up. 
would be unfortunate not to so be able to get through the first two rounds of combat like we were on about with Azog earlier to then yeah. kill those guys but simultaneously if you roll a five you're spending a might point if you roll a four yeah what does he need he gets really three heroic combat time. yeah you only have six you might you still need him to have some might though yeah, you know, you really don't have banner, six... fluff jewel rolls, and or, like, I mean, gets... but, it, but it's also not just relying on that. The whole army then is auto passing to charge your black new line. Like, yeah, you're having but to it... take terrorist has to charge him. It, it... Yeah, that's if Kiedan has any will left. Okay, so, yeah, what, sure. so, so how are you targeting so, Bergalandil and yeah. Kiedan at the same time? It well, sounds great in theory, Ash. I've had this conversation with you 30 yeah. times at least, and it just doesn't work like that. If well, it was 800 points, I'll go, yeah, because you probably have, like, where another is Vince wizard. But, um... See, the trouble is, the trouble is, because I'm coming towards you because you've got the blowing light, you've got more of the shooting. So one of those turns or two of those turns, you'll be sat willing and care down. And then as soon as Why? you're into Why combat, would he be in range? Sure because you want to leave you your can... witch king at the front of the army. <laughs> yeah, and you're yeah, assuming so Kerdan's been up. left at the front of the army. Okay, so he's fighting. You've got one corner. turn possibly before Lendl's in charge range. Yeah, but Lendl's and then you've got one turn where you have to shut down a Lendl, otherwise half your Black New Noise are probably already dead because of the bows or a Lendl charging. I'm not sure that they kill that many from shooting, do they? No, no, just in this hypothetical, like a Lendl kills four and the bows kill yeah. two, let's say, because you get to re-roll hits. Yeah, okay, yes. so you're down. In the upcoming video, you will get to see how a full <laughs> five spirit model deals with magic in an upcoming battle. It's yeah. just, I would, I would say that just the chance of the chance of whiffing with such a valuable model in this list when you've only got 32 models has the potential oh, to swing. Oh, you know, it, if, if you're asking me, do I think this will like win the event? I'm going to say no because it's only 32 models. If I'm saying the question though is, do I think it can beat Witch King Sully? And I think yes. It can totally beat it, it but you know, lots of things can I mean, beat it on yeah. like, any, any given, like mm. let's say Ellen Deal But does I think this is really scarier well. than most for it. Yeah, but let's say Ellen Deal does roll, you know, really well with the resistant and stuff and doesn't have to spend might and he isn't whiffing, you know, combat rolls and stuff, then yeah, I think it is more scary. But then yes. if he doesn't have that good a day, then I just I don't know. I just don't why does like... Elendil die as well instantly if you fail one? So yeah, if you can get a compel off on Elendil and then charge him and trap him, then he's gonna go down with only one fate. Well, oh, if you get the perfect situation to kill any hero, you can kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, he is still but DA just, and five yeah, but, seven. But, and I... <laughs> I mean, true, true. You're probably if compelling you're, him into Shagrao. If, if you're getting the compel off, then Ash is just getting all defensive because we're saying he may yeah. lose to Goval, and he's worried now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm totally not getting defensive. I'm anyway, more just... that he's worried he's going to lose to Vince in an upcoming bat rep on the <laughs> channel. <laughs> I'm just, I just think you're not taken into consideration like if something goes wrong for a lender like he doesn't resist a spell oh yeah go but equally really as Elliot bad, said anything really can good. go wrong in any situation so that's fine yeah. Yeah, like, you're, 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 you're coming very at the, good and you not at... even have to resist I, I think it's more likely that a lender will resist yeah. and survive than yes, the other way around you are it's more likely that he resists but at the same yes, time he, he has to spend if he has to spend Mike to do that, that's really bad on the list that only has six. It's not points. really bad, it's and annoying. It's not. <laughs> I think using that Mike for Ash. Because he's constantly he's... heroic combating and constantly a threat. Like, as in, even if you take yeah, his horse, he's, he's still a threat. As soon as, he starts spend, as soon as he starts spending those resources, he becomes a l less of a threat quite quickly because you uh, now your magic is... The likelihood of, of him always rolling a six yeah. in combat to win the duel is, you know, isn't guaranteed. And then you have to spend yeah. one to win the fight, and then because you, you're fighting two guys, you're going to roll a six you. against him. It works both ways, like of course, of course. yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. It, of course, it yeah. works both ways. But my overarching point is the fact that Ash, for this way, you may well not even Lendo. cast your spells if we're going down yeah. that rabbit hole. <laughs> True, sure. But <laughs> I, I just think Ash is tweaking. <laughs> I, I'm not, I just you're just not. Standing one anyway, should we talk about the list Go rather ahead. than make Ash like panic and poop himself? <laughs> but, what else is there really to talk about the list? I well, mean, the it, two fair it, ten bows re rolling to oh no, wait, some of them are yeah, new and not in bows, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, it's actually quite healthy when you've got blinding light, 
So, Restor yeah. re-rolling with his uh, throwing dagger as well. Yeah. Um, and again, I think this is a solid list. Um, it's got a soft underbelly in the Numenorians if you do get through the elves, which with a low model count you could be sort of vulnerable to. You need to um, not let that happen before Ellen Deal choose a lot of shit. If that yeah. does happen, it could be looking bad. This, this is the kind of list where I actually Will's Goblin list because it, I mean, Elendil killing goblins isn't actually that valuable compared to like killing other sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, the shatters could end up not shatters. The um, tremors could kill the elves, and then you'll the resistance be... magic. Movement. Judgment. We have. Oh yeah, you have... do. Oh no, you only get that. Oh, when six inches of Elendil, isn't it? Yeah. We yeah. found a new benchmark. I think uh, compared to dwarves, it's just how will it do against world champions? <laughs> five more <laughs> Um, and obviously it'll get screwed by the Balrog Watcher Cave Drake list Um, (laughs) it's also it's also got five of the Numenorians in the front rank to start with so they're I mean it's not the end of the world but no but they just kills yeah, I, yeah. I just They're always worry with this kills. list is the amount of D5 you have um, and a low model count. Oh, yeah. So you are relying on that terror and There's the Kurdan bubbles in there to protect as well. it. There's some D4 in there. It's a classic Kurdan list. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's, I'm hoping, there's no I'm hoping well. that it goes well for you, James. I'm hoping that Elendil goes. That sounded you know. like the classic Ashley Ulgar. I hope it goes well, but I don't think it's going to. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I wouldn't. I would think. <laughs> Four and two again, screaming out of yeah. out of out of this. But this uh, yeah. this list has a potential <laughs> of kind of you know going further if if things fall into place. Obviously, it's it's like that with every list, right? But Ellen Deal yeah. is just that good, and if he maybe doesn't face that that much, that I, much I, magic. I think uh, game six it may struggle to hold objectives because of where you have to be together with this army. List. Yeah, that's definitely probably the hardest pull for it. Yeah, yeah. So Maelstrom may screw you as well. So. Yeah. Your last games on both days is not ideal. Yeah, no. we'll see if James gets there. Yeah, but um, that is going to do it for this list. Moving on, we have Sam <laughs> Bratton debut <laughs> Kingdom of Moria list. Um, what is Ali, up, guys? Welcome, welcome to my Kingdom of Moria <laughs> list. So this <laughs> is mine again. So shout out to I mean he's already been shouted out this pod already, but David Reed, he has inspired me for this is my army of 2024, New Year, New Me. Um I've heard this he, before though, with like the Watcher on the Water, and then where did that go? Uh I've never used the Watcher. I'm not sure he did. Came second I went with it, you know, it was, that's done for. The Watcher never my came on board, and then Sam was upset. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, he he uh inspired me taking the faction. However, this list is more inspired probably from Mr. Ali himself. Um, but we shall go through it. So I've got Barlin as my leader. Um, he, he's got three Dwarf Warriors of Shield, one Iron Guard, uh, a Dwarf Ranger with Longbow and Throne Axe, and then three Vault Warden teams. Got a King's Champ, three Dwarf Warriors of Shield, one Ranger with Longbow, Throne Axe, three Vault Warden teams. Gimli, three Dwarf Warriors of Shield, Dwarf Ranger with Longbow and Throne Axe, and then three more Vault Warden teams. So... Nine Vault One teams in total, 36 models, three Fight Six Heroes, the double banner from the King's Champ. Um, two of the heroes obviously have the plus one to wounds, depending if you, you know, you two had a Gimli or not. Um, you the don't. Champ can go to straight six. <laughs> Always go three attacks. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. But they, you know, they can if they need to. Um, like you can choose to and then spear support them if you really 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 need to but yeah three attacks uh, straight four is usually fine um it's it's a it's a pretty solid battle line i'd argue um no, i think what the viewers are really looking to hear from right and um, who they're looking to hear from is ashley walger after he has <laughs> dogged on kingdom of to do for many I've months been poo-pooing all over uh now, has a be careful because we had some very sort of strong criticisms in uh you know the comment sections of some of our videos about your views on Kaz of Doom. so try and, and, I know, I know. Uh, um, including the Golden Gamers chat. <laughs> yeah. I was I was only proven right by uh, Atomic Casts when they were officially ranked the worst faction of 2023. So on you're doubling Netflix. down on your previous takes. Is that is that the... No, I'm ju- I'm I'm just playing up. I, I think the fact that <laughs> I'm most... doubling down I'm playing up. <laughs> I think <laughs> the criticism of Hazard Doom stems from the fact that they don't have any spear support. And that that's I think if we go back and look at the previous videos is 
what I've said, having a single battle line is pretty... Single dice battle line is pretty annoying. However, now that you go ahead and purchase a hell of a lot of Vault Warden teams, which... Oh, yeah, Sam purchased a lot of Vault Warden teams, yeah. Is understandable. Oh, money, buddy. All right. Yeah, Sam's yeah. using his old, own Vault Warden teams for this event, yeah. Right, guys, <laughs> yeah. okay. This, right, <laughs> this, is, this is currently on the, the painting table. Um, on the hobby desk, eh? On the hobby desk, yep. Um, I've painted the King's Champ. I've painted four of my Vault Warden teams. The other ones... Not painted just yet, but <laughs> I am using Ali's list or Ali's models for this. No, but to be fair, just this is the classic example of Sam going, "Hey, Ali, can I buy your homework?" And I was like, "Yeah, just change a couple of things so pe- the teacher doesn't <laughs> notice." Because <laughs> this is the exact list I was going to take. Apart from, I've got three more extra rangers instead of Dwarf Voice of Shields, and the Iron Guard becomes a Kazakh Guard. Otherwise, it's exactly the same list. Well, I actually I wrote gonna... this. I actually wrote this prior because it was either this or the other one the you know taking Kazagard and Iron Guard with you know no Volton teams um, it's like me taking Ash's Witch King's Sully list last year and changing a Serpent Rider for a Harad Raider with Bo <laughs> yeah. yeah no one noticed it was fine no. yeah <laughs> I think I, mean, I this is something that we haven't seen I mean Ali took lots of Volton teams at a thousand points that's kind of more niche we haven't seen somebody consistently take lots of Volton teams we have at, just not you know, since you've been around <laughs> <laughs> okay, so since you know this version of the I game, want a four fifty yeah. no run off in a four fifty point event with uh, Vault Warden teams. Was that like in the nineteenth century? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what what I'm saying is since the new version of the game, since you know, lots of people have actually started participating in the league, we haven't yeah. seen so many Vault Warden teams. Sh- so I I do really like it from Sam that it's sh- something completely sh- different. Shall I explain why this list is like lemon for Sam? Ali is jumping at the bit. To try, to try Come on, Ali, give us your take, so, my friend. On, get in so there. it's got three sort of mid range combat heroes, all fight six. So it's there going, screw you, Dragon Emperor, Legendary Legion, screw you, Elves, with your fight five. Like, I'm one upping you where it matters. Screw you, Witch King Sully, where you want to shut down one, maybe two of me, because I've still got another one or two. The Vault Warden battle line is the greatest battle line in the game. Because it's D9, <laughs> strength four, re-rolling ones to wound, which by the way all your heroes do as well. So that the killing power of the army is actually unbelievable. Uh, model counts all right for elite army. You've got double banner, so you're just as good as like anyone with a with six inch fate. Sully banner. Yeah. Um and yeah, you've got dwarf shields just to protect your flanks or fill in the gaps. Like I I as I said, I personally would go for a couple more dwarf rangers with uh, bows and throwing axes because I like the throwing axes as a cheeky sniper hero away kind of thing. Their mounts, anyway. But, no, you, I think the D5 is not the one. I think Sam's done well to get the door brain. It depends because um, you. It, it's one of those things where actually three plus throwing axes is not to be underestimated. It's pretty reliable, but and yeah, it makes I mean, you Sam's a bit more mobile for it. Oh, yeah, but having six makes you quite a. Uh, wide ranging threat for because because of where dwarves only five inch move you can put, apply pressure i mean it's kind of at the end of the day it's just personal preference on that one but yeah um i know i kind of wish i had another vault one team to my list like i was thinking mm-hmm. potentially dropping the iron guard and dropping dropping one ranger and getting a, a tenth vault one team um yeah. but i'm looking i'm yeah. looking forward to running like 20 later this year but... yeah i mean <laughs> 800 points i'm um, potentially probably just going to take like 14 of them you know are you literally just copying all of my lists because I've got one with 16 so back off <laughs> well I've got 14 you, mate you, you, you know? can't borrow my my vault wardens for that this, one uh, <laughs> I've got mine painted by your event no, have you bought 14 vault wardens because I bought I bought 10 uh, <laughs> so I can only need to buy four more but that'd be fine yeah uh, so do you have March Sam yeah Barlin's yeah. got March yeah Barlin's got March so do you think uh, there's any scenarios that you are, you know, you would struggle with, or certain matchups that you are dreading? Um, potentially, Azog and the Hunter Orcs. Uh, basically, anything that can actually kill Vault Warden teams. So, realistically, Elendil's not great. Um, he wounds some yeah. fives. Azog wounds some on sixes. Um, sixes, obviously, if you free combat. There is a chance you could just roll, you know, oh, first two dice six, next next six dice, also a six. Oh, why is Azog 
for sixes? Because well, he doesn't five, get plus one to it. Yeah, strength five. Oh, I thought it was. That's my fault being, being dense. I thought it was burly. Dude, I thought it was <laughs> burly. Fucking hell, I'd be laughing. Yeah, no. He is. He just doesn't have the He just doesn't know, have know, the know, two-handed but, flow. But he's, he's, oh, he's okay. So I'm not being a stupid... Wow. Well, you can't do that. He's literally never burly, so, you know. Like... So obviously there is the scenarios where you essentially it's like a turn to turn to 50 50 like seize the prize is this case of okay i'm gonna march up but then if you win the next one you're in front of the prize if i win it i'm in front you know it's just one yeah, of the, yeah. Um, the last thing you want is yeah. to be have a prize by nine volt <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's nervous. really bad like lords, you kind of you don't really care about shooting. Obviously, the the foe spear is a d six, which if you're playing against a crossbow heavy desk, they could go through and maybe. Do, do you want some advice? What you do on that? You, you put, you put it off. Wall. Yeah, you, you put go over ward and dwarf for your shield, then the spears. Yeah, you think I haven't figured that out, you monkey? Okay. I, I um, don't know. I've, I've met you. <laughs> you <know. laughs> yeah. There's there's obviously ways to counteract it. Same with like when you play against a Lendl, you know, you don't put two Volt on teams next to each other for a Lendl to go, oh, and kill two straight away. Like, that's just stupid, you know? That's what Vince says you do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Vince, let me to do that. Vince isn't even oh, here to defend himself, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. So, you know, you go Volt on team, then Warrior, so they can't charge, they can't kill two of your highest priority targets, you know, straight away. And when the rest of your army's in combat, a Lendl like in a perfect world he would charge two one being a vault warden team one being a dwarf uh warrior then he charged another two of the same and you know that's that's what the Elendil player would want but what if he goes on the back and goes for the foe spears well you have dwarf warrior get shield to. on the yes yeah screening screening and on the sides and although you probably would be if i was playing against an Elendil, they're going to be able to shoot and yes you then have to walk to them to some extent um, but you can still you still have models that do screen off and can play that role of um, protecting the spears and has a doom wall. Yeah, so it's it's just very solid. It's just obviously I think it's actually straight four everywhere, and they do have axes. Obviously, they have axes on the the vault and teams. So you can pierce a straight five if you're a bit of a maniac, but you <laughs> you kind of lose to a, you kind of lose why they're good at D nine if you lose the fight and then your defense you know seven like that's. The difference of strength nine is quite big, or oh, strength nine, sorry, D nine. Um, strength nine, strength nine. Ooh. Um, now yeah. one thing I would say now it's 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 just a personal thing. I think for this list, it is a good pick, but I'm personally not the biggest fan of Barlin. I oh, get I'm not either. <laughs> I get he's a good profile, okay, but two is one fate on a leader. You only need one thing to go wrong. Yeah, and he does. So, um, so the problem with Kazadum as an army yeah. list is its troops are great, its unnamed heroes are great, its named heroes are a bit rubbish, slash a bit over points, um, I think and that's its handicap. I don't actually mind the profile for one ten. Like the if you don't play against magic, the long beard rule. Just, you can actually get just don't just don't compare it to um, any other dwarf hero. Sort of around yeah, that no, point. that's fair. Just from, he I should be three we'll... wounds. Oh, actually, if you want a bit of ancient history, so in the last edition, Barlin without the long bid special rule was eighty-five points. Really? But yeah, that is really cheap. That's... Wow. Yeah, so so it kind of was an overcorrection, I think. He he should probably be ninety to ninety-five or something like that. So, um, Sam, what would stop you from putting Gimli as the leader and then just having another captain or something? And it would probably be. <laughs> The fact you can't take Gimli without Barlin. There you go, see, and that is why I lack Kingdom of knowledge. Warrior <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> uh, um, but any any closing <laughs> thoughts about Sam's debut list? I'll be interested to hear through the chat as I'm not going to the event how he gets on over the weekend. Just as I'm rooting for, for everyone else on the Gods Gamers. I'm rooting for Sam. If he could take home a GBH 100 pointer with this with this list. My would be very nervous. Is to improve the long shanks rating for Moria Dwarfs. <laughs> Apparently all you gotta do is win two games and you do that. But... <laughs> well, I think I can do that. I think this is um yeah. well see, this, for me this is like the the practice event 
for the best. Yes. Getting a feel for the it. Pilot, yeah. as it were. Yeah. yeah. I imagine Are I feel like I like know... the men of the West guy, Sam, who posts every week on the GBHL about how he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> he's won an event now, so like Yeah. Like I feel like I'll do well with it. I, I feel like I know I'm not gonna make any insanely stupid mistakes, but there'll be a few things where <laughs> not get, but that's that's brave saying that now. Like no, we I'll know. No, I'll say it. I'll, I'll firm it. Um, As I say, okay, you're just put Ball in here. James, can't <laughs> just Ball in with a Lendil. Oh, oh yeah. no. no! There'll be a few things. No, I don't make I'll... any mistakes though. <laughs> <laughs> there'll be a few things where I think, oh, I probably won't do that next time. But like, there'll be minor <laughs> things with the Warriors. How many times have you used this list so far? Oh no, this will be my first ever time using it. So, but if I go. I'll be intrigued to see how I do to it. I have no fucking... I think if you can get a nice early run in, you'll be golden. Yeah. Uh, If you get a dodgy matchup round one, or a tough matchup, you you may lose um, just because you're not used to the army uh, as much as anything. Um, I've used dwarfs. You know, they're all the same, aren't they, basically? That's fine. Whoa. Sam knows what he's doing He's used dwarfs, yeah. Okay, (laughs) and on that note, we are going to move on. Uh, to someone's list who isn't even here. Oh, he is here. Mr. Can we, is do we have the, to talk about this? Can we just like move on? King Sully list. <laughs> Actually, I've never. Oh my God, taken there's only two seventh riders. He's changed it. Yeah. I've never taken this combination <laughs> before. I took so, Carter's Ashley, back and I took Gorbag, and it was like way worse. I've never taken this before. combination. <laughs> So, um, Ashley, we did this before where you had a minute on the clock. I'll be kind. I'll give you minute 30. Okay? This is for him just to read his list. I'm just going to read minute it. Minute 30, okay? No worries, no worries. More is yours, Ashley. And begin. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Witch King Saladan combination coming from me, Ash. We've got the Witch King of Angmar with three might, 13 will, and two fate. We've got four orc trackers. Seven Moranans with Shield and Spear. Seven Black Numenorians. We then have everyone's favourite, the Mouth of Sauron with an old horse. Four Trackers, two Moranan Orcs with Shield and Spear, two Black Numenorians. Shout out to the Gorbonator who leads the next warband uh, with a shield. He then has a single Orc Tracker, four Moranans with Shield and Spear, three Black Numenorians. And the guy who never gets nerfed, uh, Sylladan, on old horse with two Serpent Riders. Um, 40 he models, so not... nerfing. He, he, he's nerf immune. So, uh, 40 models, so hitting that um, 40 model uh, number. Eight. There we go. <laughs> God, <laughs> that's right. that's just too much. Um, I think 11 might is pretty pretty useful uh, on the higher end of the might spectrum. Still, nine bows, I guess they're all trackers, not great. Uh, counting really on the double uh, transfix, compel. Uh, magic shenanigans with uh, three strikers, three fight five mounted heroes. Um, haven't actually used this combination before, so we shall see. What's how the it difference? Goes. Uh, I've just never had these four heroes together before because at 700 uh. points last time I used Kardash instead. Okay, and on that note, we will move on <laughs> from the Wishing Celadan <laughs> talk. <laughs> um, but yes. Can, uh, uh, just as a genuine question, why don't. You make your Witch King like your warbands more equal. Like, why do you go more heavy in the Witch King? Just as a question. Uh, because he's the most valuable boy. So, so just, yeah, that's just fair enough. I was just wondering because it is the mouth of warband looks relatively randomly that's small it. and yeah. flimsy. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I guess it's more the fact that he's got the Harbringer, so he wants to have the most Numenorians and then. I guess the mouth can can run away. Um, but I'm interested between mouth and Gorbag because you just like randomly throwing models in because I don't get well, one. one's got Gorbag's, four trackers Gorbag. and one's got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because Warb- uh, Gorbag's Gorbag. Gorbag. Gorbag, you can hey. you can deploy as a like a in a battle space in a choke point. You can deploy Gorbag and those four guys. Whereas the mouth is more of a you probably deploy him first. See. Where are you just making this up on the spot out of interest? Sorry, are you making up this tactical reason on the spot? 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And on that note, then, we <laughs> shall move on. OK, so we are going to head over to uh, the uh, lovely tier list that um, we have ready over here. Fantastic. So quick, five, ten minutes here, uh, and we will wrap this up. Now, uh, I thought I put the Dragon Emperor as the bottom sort of tier. Thought, you know, I mean, I'll be Dragon quite... Emperor still silly nervous. I know, but he, he survived quite a long time, and then he finally got his you know, his due day. So he's feeling a bit Come sad, on. so he's in the bottom tier. So for anyone who's never uh, seen one of our tier lists before, if you're an audio listener, uh, if you are the best, um, you know, uh, category you are hoping to be in the lemon tier, then ascending down from there, uh, or descending, we have Silly Nervous, Nervous Dog, and then a dragon emperor. So uh, some of these people aren't even can going I, to the event. Can I just say, how did them. Adam actually get a good photo? What the rest of us all like look like idiots. He's like full on does, like swarm. Look there. mega Chad in that photo. I know. Um, yeah. So why don't we start very quickly? Because you may as well still tear his list. It's a list that all of our viewers will have seen many times, uh, which is Jay's list. He has taken an Isengard list with Lurtz, Vrasku, Gorolf, and two uh, Isengard ballistas. So, so we didn't put Jay's in, because we've seen it many times, but we put Ash's in. Yes, yeah. but Ash wanted to talk about his new makeup. I'll <laughs> turn up. I'll yeah. put in the graph every week. <laughs> I do That's disagree true. that, that we should have reviewed Ash's list, to be fair. So I... Yeah, no, it's tough. So, so um, what, what is Jay's list? Because I actually don't pay attention Lertz to this from podcast. Memory, Lertz, Rasku, <laughs> Goral, two, uh, Ballistas. So it's, it's a many, crossbow spam list. Yeah. How, how many Ballistas? Two. What model count? Oh, no, you're really pushing it. Hold on. I mean, <laughs> you didn't show me it earlier, so I need all the stats before I can... Uh... Charles Sims did actually put all the lists in alphabetical order, which is pretty chat, so it's going to make this a lot easier. Uh, J, uh, J. As long as Elliot I'm knows like, his alphabet. I'm um, the rest of them. <laughs> Where is J? Uh, to be fully oh, so many people going that have fucking... J is there. What the fuck? Uh, right, it is, yeah. Uh, Lertz, Brasku, Gorolf, two ballistas, 39 models. And how, how many crossbows? 13. Uh, six. Oh, that's probably better. Uh, Elliot, 12, how many blisters? 12 plus the heroes. <laughs> Wait, Elliot, what are the heroes? What? <laughs> um, Jay's list. What do we think? Silly nervous. It's Jay's trying to test yeah. it, right? As well. Blisters I, I reserve the right to maybe bump it up or down. Like, you bump it What's that, Sam? How many blinding lights were there? Like, um... I don't think there were loads, which is why I'm not many. Not that we obviously. Could yeah, no, I don't think there was many. Because there's one Lafleurian. There was five of them. Many... Right, and they might not have all had a kid. There was like so... five. Yeah. Two AOL, but they don't all have kids. Two AOL, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we know there's only four lists. If but there's a lot more dwarves than normal. Yeah. 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 I'm leaving out silly nervous now for me. Yeah, everyone happy with that, roughly? Uh, yeah, I think Jake, again, yeah. as always, could do really well with this. Wait, well, don't we need to put him in dog, though, because otherwise he won't win. <laughs> <laughs> he does like playing up to it. He's um, got Cravane as well, remember? So he's fine oh, for yeah. all the maneuverable scenarios. Yeah. Cool. Um, <laughs> moving on, then, we have James Goebel's <laughs> Ellen Deal based Lost Lines list. Nervous. It's going to be nervous. Is mid, nervous mid. List? 32 models is low. And there's no march as well. Nervous three and three. I, I think the order of scenarios screws you three. over as well. Which I don't is... think it's just about how it. It's 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 the potential. It's this uh, like uh, you know. Okay, nervous. It isn't only about <laughs> where where it will. Be. Well, the, the 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 general vibe of nervous is three and three. Yeah, like after nervous, you'll be like four and two is a good good weekend. Yeah, um, I think on if yeah on a on a good weekend it's like you know bottom of silly nervous sort of range. Um, so maybe yeah it averages out top of nervous, but like I think it's it's better than just a middle of the pack list. Like it's got. I a thought lot. that was a really long winded way because you didn't want to just sound like you agreed with us. <laughs> so you're like, I'm I don't. Gonna... <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying it has like certain things about it which increases its ceiling, like to where but it. But then it has other things where it drops it. I just I think the things that increase its ceiling are really really strong and not every list has all those things like it it ticks a lot of boxes it's just low on model count so I think with James skill he could take it's all dog. the dog <laughs> 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 
our first Dragon Ooh. Emperor list. <laughs> um, okay, looks like we'll leave it there. Uh, moving on to Ben Hanselham's Defenders of Erebor. I want to put this below James's. I think below James's. Nervous James. tip. Sorry, uh, Ben. How much are we saying that player skills involved, though? <laughs> Uh, it is involved. It's all there. It's all encompassing. Cool, Dragon Emperor. No, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I. At think least coming up with smoke. I've been nice for most of this podcast to everyone. I've been saving it to the end. No, uh, I'd, yeah, just below James, I think. Sam's just been quiet and like yeah, fall Sam, forward James in the corner there. there. It's because Sam played yeah. Ben, and it went. It was difficult, you know. Sounds yeah, like I don't mind the list. I really don't. I think the. What's wrong? I my problem is I think with the armies that's going, Ben okay. will struggle. I do think it is worse than James's. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not arguing with this. Yeah. But, but I, I, I could I'm see neg- why someone would put James's bottom is really nervous. That's all. Like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I could see why it would go there, and then Ben would be a lot of boxes. Like I don't think. I think James is a little bit just is a touch is a step higher. Yeah. yeah, but like the difference between Jay's and James is maybe quite big. Yes. Yeah, it's the problem. Yeah, yeah. But, but I said Jay's like top of city nervous. It's yeah, Jay would be like cusping on lemon, and I would be cusping on nervous. So yeah, so That's I don't know. Like complete opposite ends of the spectrum. I don't mind being city nervous, but then obviously people are going to fill out in between that, so it's going to look as yeah. the tier list goes on, it's going to look more. Yeah, I know I've put on some weight, Sam, but you don't need to like remind me about how I'm filling out. <laughs> <laughs> I am also early, so I'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sam, it's right, mate. It's fucking bulking season, yeah. You're fine. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, and then if you just go to somewhere where it's not summer, like when it is here, then it's bulking season there as well. So, mm. so I'm just bulking for the nuclear winter. I love, I love how we now live in a world where Isengard lists, just pure Isengard lists, are cusping on silly nervous into lemon. Like, when did that? Really um, when we when being able really? to crossbow everyone to death yeah, was gone. still good, but this way it was always good. It just got trumped by Assault on Helm's Deep because it was better, a better version of it at the time. And, and when we plated on Isengard in the past, when like Vince has tried to run it with like Saruman and things, for example. yeah. Um, so it's basically Assault on Helm's Deep 2.0, or you could say Assault on Helm's Deep was Isengard 2.0, depending on which time you. Coming into the sort of does, scene does he have matter. a does he have a Corbain in the list, Elliot? Yes. <laughs> now Jake Rawson, who's going though, has two Corbain in his list. Yeah, but does he have? He has a bomb, doesn't he? He has a bomb and no ballistas. Yeah, which I don't know which one I prefer. No, yeah, they do different things. Mm. My list. Um... Yeah, yeah. Moving <laughs> on, uh, Sam, uh, Kingdom of Moria. Uh, silly nervous below Joe. Agreed. Well, can someone like yeah? I don't frame I don't think... that Ash is like letting a Kazadum Kingdom of Moria list above yeah, for the dog. folks out there. <laughs> judge this man. Um, yeah. uh, I when I've pissed on Kazadum before, it's not it had but one music. Sam was taking a completely new approach as I was trying to lay out but then you got I mean the fact it. that you say that while I'm on the podcast is like somewhat hurtful but I won the league with like half of my events were with Vault Warden teams <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> flexing on us yeah. um, I, I don't think there's that much between Sam's and James's list like maybe Sam's edges up into well, nervous. are you looking at the head to head more than the actual no, I just like I think like Sam's is maybe more. Again, I want to go back to my, my point I was trying to make is that if Elendil does with James's list doesn't really have anything else, whereas Sam's list does. Sam's is, yeah, yeah. yeah that's why that's why Sam's goes into silly nervous. I I, I would actually argue my list is better than Jay's. I think it's better. The silence. Listen, no. I've got more tools in the toolbox, and the ceiling, therefore, is higher. You lose to Jay. Switch King Sally. I think it's better. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do lose to Jay, but, but looking at the think... event and what's going as well. Yeah, true, true. When I think about it, there's quite a lot of dwarfs. Jay's list 
Blisters can do quite well. It's quite a lot of Fangio's holes, which we've already yeah. discussed. It's probably quite good. Maneuvering well. is probably the worst one for Jay because you want to shoot. And if Maelstrom you... with the ballistas. Maelstrom's bad. third. That's, again, not the worst thing in the world. No. It's not great. That He's got, I guess, maybe the last scenario. If you're playing capture control, isn't great. For example, domination less so because you can deploy two objectives on your side and be fine shooting. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing with Witching and Zully is there are no bad pools and there are no real bad scenarios. Um, I would... Jay's is more spiky. Yeah. But also Jay's beats Ashes in the head-to-head, so I slightly put it above that, just on that metric, because I think they're equally as good otherwise. Um, like if there's if there's less blinding, if there's not as much blinding light, which I don't think there is from what we yeah, can tell. I would see, I, I, I think Jay, Jay really struggles against blinding light though. Then Jay yeah. is better. So there's less blinding light, but at so the Jay's same time, he does play blinding light. That's way worse than like my matchup against Jay is bad if he's able to shoot, but if it's a scenario where I can get into combat with him, or he has to deploy in the middle, or it's Maelstrom. But I don't think he's screwed in that situation either. It's not even that bad, though. Like, it's not ideal, but I don't think he's screwed. For me, it's the proportion of blind and light lists to Jay's list is less yeah. than lists that Jay, beat you in your list. Jay has definitely read the meta and chose a list well for this event. I so. think he's read the meta. I think he's taken the same thing. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. This is yeah. The meta has no, been he, Witch King he, Sully, yeah, he's Crossbows. Taken, he's, taken the same list. <laughs> he's taken the same list again and again, but at the same time, nobody's countering it and it's doing well. So that's still a good meta read, right? Yeah, and, and still no one's countered it. Uh, yeah. I, w- I was thinking, like, with all of the publicity, like, any heroics podcast has been given with Farmer going shooting's really big in this edition. Someone take anti shooting, they may have like <laughs> yeah. listened if it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I'd say you're equal, but for me, that head to head, I'm going the consensus Jay. is it's below J, so stick me there. Lovely, moving on. Ali's army of thrall list. I want to say this is better than Sam's. I agree. So you think your list is going to beat mine? I don't think it's going to beat yours, but I think I will beat more people than you do. I also agree. I don't. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't. I don't. Um... So out of the five of us going, which list beat me? Uh, I know it's not the only metric, but which ones do you think uh, does? I think depending on the scenarios I beat you, Ali. Yeah. You're the closest, in my opinion, because you yeah. can actually kill me. Yeah. Uh, I think model count-wise, I may end up having you. But, um It will depend on, on the scenario. Ter- ter- I think it more depends on terrain, actually, if me and Sam play. Sam just puts his vault wardens in choke points. Loving that. Um, I don't know. I think I could beat you if the matchup's correct, but then at the same time, I could also lose. Um... I mean, we what know what the matchup is, is going to be. Uh, do you mean if the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the scenario is correct? That's the trouble, though, right? Because almost all of the uh, head to heads are so, the variables are so <laughs> large. That was a good <laughs> point. That is funny. That is, that what was, a point. that was. Well, I think I could beat you. Better in the day, I also might not. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, where are we putting it, folks? So, in so I, like as a meta read, this event has turned into exactly what I hoped it would be. It's crossbow heavy list, Witch King Sully, and sort of or like, and it's basically there going. None of those actually scare my army. I don't think my list is lemon because it's still a dwarf list and Sonia's can still screw it over. Um, but I personally would be confident enough against every single list I've seen here today and at the stats going. Go on then, let's put Ali at the top, which means that he so, doesn't finish the best of all five of us. Okay, we can above Ash. poo on his, Ian on his Ash head. Ash voted below Ash, uh, um, Ash. James, where do you vote? 
they yeah. all what they you just said made above. zero sense. I said me but and I, Ash I think it goes above. Ash. Yeah, it's, it's the going said, above, Ash ladies below and Ash is just cursed. That's the way it sounded. Let's put him above Ash. Uh, put, definitely put him above. You're and... putting him above as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I cast my vote first. <laughs> cool. Are we happy with this? Yes. Ash <laughs> says through grit and teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay, looks like we're good. Lovely. It's going to close it out. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching another episode of the Gons Gamers podcast.